Hello there, everybody. How are we doing? Hello, hello. Uh, I started earlier just because uh, I was setting up the stream and it said that there's a pre-show. So I figured pre-show, we would just stream the pre-show. I didn't know that was a thing, so yeah. Hello, everybody. I'm going to eat my breakfast with you. How are we all doing? I don't even know if this is where I'm supposed to be, if I'm being honest. I don't even know. I, I don't know what to, to really think. So, yeah. Welcome on in, everybody. How are we doing? How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Do you, I think that the Mario DTC could be revealed? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. I want to talk about just like all my... Uh, oh, can we get some music? Oh, it's actually starting. I was about to put on music, so that's great. How's the sound? Is it too loud, guys? Can you guys still hear me? Oh, we gotta shrink this. Hang on. Hang on, chat. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, Vince. <laughs> How y'all doing? Mmm, look at it. Listen to that beat. We can hear you. I can hear you. Woo! Um, anyways, I'm just eating breakfast with you guys. Welcome on in, everybody. Uh, what was I going to say? So, expectations. I have very little, but I have hope. I don't really... I have an idea. You know what my dream would be? My dream My dream for this would be, right? Because of all the different themes that we've got. d to cs for everything. Just reveal it all. Minecraft. Mario, Star Wars, just do it all. I know there is one reveal and I've been set to press kit. It'll it'll happen later on. Um, so I can't talk about what that is specifically. And uh, but it, it is happening soon, so oh wait, that's not oh, I think I'm cutting off stuff at the top of the screen. Hang on. Let me move this even more. But I'm excited, guys. The first ever LEGO Con. I honestly don't know why they've never done one of these before, if I'm being honest. So, yeah. Let's do a roll call. You guys want to do a roll call? I've never done it with 200 people before. Ready? Y'all got to stick around if I read your name out, though. That's the rule. <laughs> uh, Hunter, Masad, Nico, Peter, Burrito, Vince. Um, oh, we got a dodo. Hang on. It messed me up. I'll read it in a second. Hank, Charlton, uh, Gojira. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, the Wicked Dan, Charlie, Link, uh, Isli Ling, Cull, The Rod, TSM, Lego Maniac, RL, Mock, I can't even, I can't even keep up with you guys, you guys are all crazy, hello everybody, uh, Pro, thank you for the $2, I really hope they talk about the new Playmobil, I hope they talk about the new Playmobil as well, uh, Luigi, uh, Omar, Omar, what's that, two Omars back to back? No way, that's crazy, Cull, Armada, Pen, uh, Daredevil, Tim, how's it going, man? Sophie, Co Matthew, Grant. Oh my goodness, I feel like a real streamer with all these guys. Oh my goodness. To Bob, Victor, uh, Mr. Jello, Marcus, Rob, Danny, South, Ash, Luigi, I think I said already, Aditya, uh, Star, What, Peter, Deacon, Hayden, J Joseph, Pants, Tim. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Mr. Chicken, uh, David, Evan, Wario, Kirsten, uh, Eli, Jackson, uh, Saren, TBNR, thank you for becoming a member, man, I really appreciate that, thank you for, for joining, I don't even, I think I need to update the, the emotes on the, I don't think we have as many as the other one, Mason, R R Rippin, Maxi, I think, Maxwell, sorry, uh, Adam, Small, True, how's it going, man? Tom, Bench, uh, Patrick, Sebastian, Aldina, Thomas, Just a Banana, The World of Liam, Faulty, Koopa, Lego Qui-Gon, 
<laughs> dream uh the sonic stud aquatus aquatus tns how's it going man lego mega uh superior squid how's it going victor maximo smash oh my goodness name i can't i can't read that language small um omar red lego monkey bloxy mike timothy bloodhound i think that was the name d thomas D thompson julian hello oh my goodness guys are crazy <laughs> Gunship better not be a disappointment. Harumi, how's it going? Wayne, Niles, Cole, Jackson, Naud. Welcome on in, everybody. I My cereal's getting soggy because I'm having... Bellatrix, hi, how you doing? It's nice to see all the regulars in chat. Spencer, how's it going, man? Owen, Juan, how's it going? Jay Noli, hello, hello. slow mode please it wouldn't even matter this <coughs> we've just got 588 people saying hello to me <clears throat> another asian asian the red panda caught tries alexander hello hello oh my goodness leon steve i just keep seeing new people every time that i look up of course you're a regular beltrix Jamie, how's it going, man? Welcome on in. Mecky. Mm, listen to this ASMR. It's like a Twitch stream, right? Mmm. <laughs> Luke, how's it going? TJ, how's it going? Bloxy, how's it going? Austin, Brenner, welcome on in, everybody. Dylan, thank you so much. I appreciate that. See, on my screen, on the YouTube live stream side of things, I can see more chats than you guys. So, I'm actually, I'm when I'm reading something, I have to follow it up as it's just going across. Like, it's so fast here. Shogun, hello. Welcome on in. Alteration, hi, welcome. Drew, 21, how's it going? Sam, Sam, Samu? I didn't see, sorry. Dino, welcome on in. Steven, hello, or Stefan. Peppy, how's it going? SM, how's it going? Andy, Nelson. Sorry if I didn't read out your name. Indiana, how's it going, man? Uh, Obi-Wan, hello, hello. When does it start? It starts at 12, but it said there's a pre-show, which is why I went live. I was going to wait for longer, but... Mm -hmm. Where's the original stream? It's on lego.com. Just search LegoCon and Google. That's where I got it. Sir, how's it going? Welcome on in. Greek Lego fan. Are you, I hear China or... What? Oh, oh, what you hear? Oh, it's just a bowl. I'm eating, um... I'm eating cereal. The snowy brick hello. Welcome on in. here from australia hello hello from canada chat where are you guys from put a little flag say where you're from i'm eating cinnamon toast crunch sdm eh? see that's worrying i i put no stream delay but i feel like you guys just had a major delay there A lot of different states I'm seeing here. A few wisecrackers saying they're from Earth. I see that. This stream is sponsored by Cinnamon Toast Crunch. When I was talking about us getting a sponsorship, it was for Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yep. Yeah. No, you know what? I wish I could. Um... Pierce, I wish that I could get my hands on the Loki charms.
Chat, chat. When you eat cereal, right? Do you keep... You're not... You're, you're not weird, right? You don't spoon all the milk into your mouth. You, you drink it, right? You drink from the bowl. Yep, same here, Ben. Yes, yes, good. You drink it. Yes and no? I, what, what would be the no? <laughs> Spencer, I appreciate that. Except when he goes live, he gets, uh, you know, thousands, uh, 70,000 people for Fortnite updates and stuff like that. <laughs> but we're almost at 800 people, guys. That is insane. I'm looking at my phone here. That's crazy. Welcome on in everybody. I will turn it on when there's actually... I think I've got a handle on chat. No one seems to be spamming or anything like that. Um, we'll just do this just in case, okay? How's this sound? We'll just do this just in case. Oh, slow mode is on. It is on. It's on 10 seconds. I was going to say, no one spammed, so I'm a little surprised by that. You're making your, your own Loki crown. That's really cool. Can you say hi? Hi, Eleanor. Oh, as James. Hi. Welcome on in. I wish I could watch more, but I got stuff to do. I understand, man. Saturdays are a busy day, yeah? Ash, for my sake... It's on. It's on already. Yep. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I love the beat here. Honestly. I was going to put on Lego Marvel superheroes music, but this is good. You can submit questions, really. I'd love to submit questions. On what? Instagram? Hmm. You canceled my plans to watch this. Honestly, I would do the same. I'm not even kidding. I, I, I would have as well. <laughs> I just saw, um, I just saw Brickwiz's story. He's just like anything happening, and his notification feed is just filled with everyone on Lego.com. Oh, look at this. What are you most excited to see at LegoCon? New set re reveals. Plural. In your face, everybody who's just like, there's only one happening. Submit your question. Submit your question. What should I ask? What should I ask, chat? What should I ask? Why do you hate Lego DC? How's that? I think that's good. Yeah, you'll be able to watch it here, Kristen. I'll be streaming it. You're all good. I got you covered. Yep. Hmm. Are you going to make Lego Batman 4? No, they're, what would they act? What would they legitimately? What would they actually answer? Do you know who Ash and Flash is? <laughs> I'd hope so, being an ambassador. What is Lego Con for? They're going to reveal a few sets. They're going to they're going to talk to designers. It's it's literally a convention for us. Yeah. Honestly, I just want to... I'll, I'll say it nicer. I'll say it nicer. Oh, wait. There's a topic. Oh! Anything special planned for the 10-year anniversary next year? Golden figures? Winky face? Boom. That's my question. Um, so let's just talk, I wanted to, this is what I wanted to say, and, um, so for me, when I looked at the past, right, at conventions and stuff like that, which is why I think they're doing this now, with Comic-Con, right, you know, we would get, um, we would get reveals, and they would just do, um, they would just reveal... I remember, like, the Lowrider being revealed, the Batmobile, all on different days. I think they revealed the... The Hulk versus Red Hulk set. Um, what else was there? I think that would have been the same year. And uh, can we hit 1K? I'd love to hit 1K. That would be really cool. Anyways, um, oh, by the way, guys, Monday, big stream here on the channel. We're going to be celebrating three years of the channel. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested in that, 
See you then, eh? Um, but anyways, what I wanted to say was that Minecraft is 10 years old next year. Yeah. What I wanted to say was that when it comes to LEGO conventions, I I remember having all these memories of them revealing things every day leading up. They didn't even have a panel. They were just, they had the booth and that's it. They didn't have panels. So I think this is so smart. LEGO's taking it into their own hands here. They're doing their own convention. Um, they are, they are, they're, they're doing this for us. I love it. I think that this is so great. I think that uh, I, I have a lot of high expectations. I think they can bring out a lot of surprises. Um, I know that we were sent some stuff as ambassadors, but I, I think that they didn't send us something so that they could actually, um, you know, surprise us because notoriously a lot of other land members have been leaking stuff recently. So, yeah. Um, Lego 147 Valentine, thank you for the $5. How long is Lego Con? I don't know. I know there is a reveal later on in the afternoon. Um, I, I, I don't think I can, well, I could say the time. No, no, I don't. I don't want to get in trouble. So I know that there's something later on. So um, there is a video schedule. Actually, I have to finish the thumbnail for that because I haven't. Um, thank you for reminding me of that. Maybe I'll take a break when um, video comes on because I know Llama LLAMA is uh, performing or something like that. It said in the email two hours. LegoCon is an hour and a half long, if I recall. See. Ya. Okay, I'm just going to say, it. I know that there's a reveal at 2, so that doesn't make sense. So, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Again, they said there was a pre-show, which is why I went live. So, sorry, guys. Um, yeah. No, Austin, I don't have a P.O. box just yet. I want to at some point. Very, very soon, I hope. But, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Why is this longer than Apple events? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let me just finish my thumbnail real quick. <clears throat> my question, what's happening with the Clone Wars sets and do you have a plan on making Bad Batch set? Do they have a plan? I don't, we've got the one Bad Batch set and we've got a couple of Clone Wars sets, so yeah. Uh, Lego Valentine, thank you for the $10. I've never been to Legoland. Justin wouldn't take me. <laughs> I've been to a Legoland Discovery Center, but that doesn't quite count, right? Do you think that counts, chat? I don't think a Discovery Center is the same. I Spencer, I don't think that they would talk about the the, um, the Tumblr. I can't see it happening. I think that uh, with the panels and the themes that we've got, I think the best chance for getting a reveal would be uh, would be um, what's it called? Would be Mario, I would say, and Star Wars. I think maybe Harry Potter because we do have that as well. Yeah. Lego Land is a great experience. I want to go, man. Among Us set reveal got declined, unfortunately. Mm hmm. You never been to Lego Land either, yeah. What happened to Lego World? It just they did some DLCs and it kind of just died off. What's my Lego, f le my favorite Lego theme? Honestly, it would be uh, it would be DC, even though you know it's lackluster and we don't really get the proper treatment. I'd say for that, but I still think that. Uh, it's really, it, it's probably, uh, it's probably still my favorite, you know? Yeah. Marvel Infinity Saga reveal? I'd love more sets to be revealed, I don't know. I don't think me going to downtown Disney counts as going to Disney. It's a little different. There is rides at Discovery Centers, but I, I get what you're saying, Michael. <laughs> Are they going to reveal the Marvel DTC, uh, the Marvel uh, CMF series? I don't think so. I, I'd be surprised. It could happen. I don't really know what to expect for this. We don't know. You know, we only know a few things that LLAMA is making an appearance. Of course, the, that's what I'm honestly, honestly most excited for. Um, so I think that's what everyone actually is here in the chat for. We're here for LLAMA, right? We're all Llama fans, right? Do you think the Titanic set is still a possibility? I'm pretty sure it's still happening. Yeah, from I haven't heard anything about it not happening. Mm hmm. Hi. Hi, me bricks. Welcome on in. When is it gonna start? It's gonna start at 12. They said there's a pre-show. I feel lied to, honestly. Another Ninjago DTC. Uh, I don't think Ninjago was on the docket to get to talk about it. So. 
Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing this by myself. Um, and uh, and uh, face reveal wise, I did a video talking about why I haven't done one. So yeah, you could check it out. It's uh, it's called my hundred k face reveal or something like that. And uh, I just talk about that. So yeah. Any chance of the DeLorean being revealed today? Listen, can I be honest? I, I don't know what to expect. With Can I be honest with you guys? All I know is one thing that's happening. I don't know what to expect. We hit 1K. Let's go, boys. Thank you all so much. Welcome. And girls, sorry. I'm just, that's the that's what I hear in stream, uh, other streamers say. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Wow. What an achievement. Yeah. You know what? Listen, listen. Here, here's the only reason I would do a face reveal. Ready? This is the only reason. I would never put it in reviews or even news probably unless like it was like something really big I'd do a face reveal or something like like a like a reaction or something. I I do it for this. I I want to do it for streams. That's the only reason I would do it for, yeah. Thank you Austin. I really appreciate that. Thanks guys. I don't watch Hermitcraft, no. What are you watching it on? We are watching uh, this just from Lego.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about Lego Summer Sets? Yeah, we'll get a, it says there's reveals. I just don't necessarily know what to expect, you know? I've never, I didn't watch Cruella, no. Thoughts on 1.17? I've been playing a lot of it uh, and I've really been enjoying it. Yeah. Bob the Awesome Bob, thank you for the three dollars. Um, Mario minifigures, Peach D to see. I'd love that so much. You have no idea. Did I say the other person's name? Benjamin, thank you for the five dollars. Sorry, I didn't thank you earlier. Mm hmm. I have watched Loki. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. Loving Loki. It's my favorite show so far. Yeah. Oh, good gamer. Welcome on back in. Will you do another custom like the Kingpin one? We have something very special releasing tomorrow. I'm very excited to share with you guys the, the project. Yep. I haven't seen the Coral reset on ideas. Chat, what's, your, what's been your favorite Marvel... Uh, your favorite Marvel show so far. Jake, thank you for the $2. Let's go, LegoCon. Amazing YouTuber. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that, Jake. I'm so hyped for LegoCon. I, I, I really am. I hope that they continue to do this. I know that maybe this year, you know, it might be lackluster, but I I have hope, you know, and, I, and I'm excited about the future when it comes to this. I, I really do. Loki? Lo wow. That's a lot of Lokis. WandaVision, few, very few Falcon and the Winter Soldiers. But I'm with you on Loki, man. I'm with you there. Mm -hmm. I'm personally, though, like I've been, I've said this from the start. I'm most excited for What If. And uh, I, I'm, I cannot wait. I can't believe that's what we're getting sets off of, if I'm being honest. Even though it's the show that I've been most excited for, I can't believe that's just what we're getting sets off of. And that they're both mechs. Um... But honestly, I, I'm so excited for the for the what if show. I, I think it's gonna be great. I th I love those sort of stories, you know, of, of uh, changing one thing and I don't know. It's like Flashpoint, but with with Marvel. So I I really love it. They're all good. Mm. I mean, they're all entertaining. One point one. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Yeah. What's what are you guys looking forward to? So for me, it's for me, it's what if, but what what show or, or Marvel project are you guys looking forward to? Is anyone hyped for Black Widow still? I, I think I'm just, you know, I wasn't last year, but honestly, I'm just excited for anything new Marvel. I don't know. I kind of was on a Marvel burnout last year, but this year I'm just hyped. Hmm. Love the song. What if, what if, Moon Knight, mm, No Way Home, yeah. Secret Invasion, that's a good one too, yeah. I think Spider-Man 3 is the movie I'm most looking forward to, but uh, 
Yeah. No way home. Yeah. I I'm I'm actually excited for Morbius. You know, I'm excited to see what's up with that. With uh, with Vulture specifically being in that, I think that's what I'm most like interested by. Yeah. Ms. Marvel is another one I think that looks really good from like the set photos. I really like her her outfit, and I'm excited to see how she's gonna tie into uh, the new Captain Marvel movie. I want to do a uh, I want to do a, a Marvel CMF series too when we get like official pictures of like her outfit and and Hawkeye's outfit and Kate Bishop's outfit because I think. Uh, I think a series two would be great. I don't know if Lego would necessarily do one. I don't really know what to uh, expect with this series and if they will do one. So I think it'll be cool. You know, I think that we could definitely do. I think there's definitely enough characters, especially from like Zemo and Agatha being left out. I definitely think that I could cobble together a, a whole series. So, yeah. Will they do Zelda sets? Uh, I'd love that, man. I don't think that they would ever do anything through, let's say, um, through ideas, just because they, I think they would rather work with Nintendo outside, you know, if that makes sense. I, that's just what I would do. And specifically looking at stuff like Avatar, like, um, either of the Avatars, just to say both Avatars to make it easier, uh, I think that, um... I think Lego should just work with them outside of ideas. Do a theme. You don't want to just do one set. And I think that's going to be an issue with Sonic. And, and uh, yeah. I don't really think that it's fair, if I'm being honest. That, like, specifically, if you look at Mario, right? They've got the Nintendo license. So, you can submit Legend of Zelda and Animal Crossing and all these other things. But with DC, they ain't doing anything. And I can't submit anything else. Uh, like, I can't submit anything related to DC. It's not fair. IDs is broken. Part 3! Are we on part 3 or 4? I actually don't know. <laughs> yeah, fun pre-show. I, I guess I made my own pre-show, even though they said there was one. Unless it's not starting at that time and it's starting later, I, I, I don't know. But I, feel, I do feel lied to. But this beat has kept, kept things uh, hyped up, you know? Do you think you should buy Diagon Alley or the Hogwarts? I don't know. I haven't finished building my Hogwarts castle, but I personally, if I had to pick one, I would I would probably pick Diagon Alley uh, just because I like minifigure scale sets a lot more. So, do you think we'll see the Skywalker saga? I particularly think so. I don't. I. It would be nice to get some form of an update on that game, like saying, "Hey, we didn't forget about this." It's it's still coming. You know, that would be nice, I think. Thoughts on E3? Um I barely remember anything that even happened in that. What do we get? Guardians. That's the that's the only thing that I can think of that came out of that, that came out of E3 that I even remotely remember. Mm-hmm. Do you think they should do a Karate Kid set? I think that they should definitely cash in on the the hype around Cobra Kai and everything like that for sure. I think uh, they definitely should do that. Yeah. Lego Marvel Avengers 2? I think that's an excellent idea. I'm I'm shocked that they haven't done one, if, honestly. Uh, just because I think that doing the Infinity Saga would have been great. I, I, I think that's such a missed opportunity. One minute left. Team Fortress 2 is not really relevant anymore, is it? Do anyone does anyone even play Team Fortress 2? Lego Indiana Jones. I hope that comes back next year. I, I really do. I think uh, I think it'd be great if they did that. I don't know how to make this thumbnail. These boxes are very awkward. Imagine Lego Marvel Super Heroes 3. I prefer that. I really didn't like the second one, but uh, now that everything's back at Disney, I feel like we could get a very good game. You know, that's that's at least my hope, but I don't know. All right, let's put them there and put you in the front. Wait, you in the front and you in the back.
It should be starting soon. It, it should be starting now. Yeah, I don't know what to expect if we get, uh... If we get Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield in the sets, I don't know. Lego Lord of the Rings return? Maybe with... The <laughs> Maybe with uh, the new show, I could definitely see that happening. Yeah. Here we go. It's pretty crazy, eh? What's with the quality? It's really low. That does not look 1080. It's not my stream chat, it's the actual video itself. It's very low quality. Secrets from inside the LEGO HQ. How awesome was that? I mean, I didn't even think I could get more excited, but somehow I'm more excited. I actually am really excited. And like you, I am a huge fan of LEGO build, and I'm so excited to welcome you to the first ever LEGO party. Woo! Woo! Here we go. I'm actually being told now that it's short for Lego convention. <laughs> Makes a lot more sense. The first I got ever that. Lego con, yeah, that's good. Lego house will start soon, and the hosts Michelle and Mel. What? Thrilled to welcome you. Share your reaction. Ah, uh, it is. It is an hour and a half. I turned it up. Yeah. Also share your questions. Michelle and Melvin will tell you when, and you can. Oh, uh, I feel baited. And the first poll is live on your screen. Like, uh, what are you most excited to see? Already answered it. Lego house, new set reveals, Q and A with designers, big builds. I mean, they all sound great to me. Enjoy the conversation online throughout the show using the LegoCon hashtag. Well, since this show is for all ages, there's no better way to kick off the final count. It's okay, chat. This is actual. Here. Don't Turn down your mic, like, really? Got six amazing Testing. Oh, it is really high. Hang on. And there we go. With us. How cool is that? Answer? So cool. First up is Kevin Ulrich, a stop motion animating genius. There are so many one by ones. Just I'd cry. All over the I wouldn't. Place. I wouldn't be picking that up for a long time. Wouldn't pick that up for a long time. I'd leave all that on my floor. Hi. My name is Kevin Ulrich, and I'm a stop-motion animator, and I've been working as an independent oh. contractor for the LEGO Group for almost eight years. Like comments on my videos all the time. One of my earliest time. memories was going to the toy store and picking up a classic pirate set with my dad. I was a military kid, which meant that I moved every two to three years, and building was one of the few constants in my life. One of the things I love most is its ability to immerse my imagination in a faraway place. When I'm building a pirate ship or a medieval castle or a spaceship, I feel like through I my when imagination, he was I'm living in that world with the minifigs and with those characters. Now and too quiet. I always wanted to bring other people with me through this imaginative journey to this faraway and <laughs> fantastical place. And Put that's in the why I became a brick filmer. Stop motion is one of the easiest types of filmmaking to get started in. Take a frame, you move a character, you take your frame, do that a thousand times, and voila! You have a one minute video of your characters coming to life. But yeah, so easy! easy. <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to master. My biggest advice to anyone wanting to get started in stop motion animation is use the resources you have rather than worrying about getting the proper resources. For my first three years as an animator, I was shooting on DV tape and then recording sound on an audio cassette and then linking the two together with it's an analog too low. and anyone uh, under 20 probably had absolutely no clue it's what really I just It's really loud. It's in the how red. rough that technology was. It's nothing compared to the so, resources chat. you have today. If you have access to a smartphone, you're miles ahead of where I started. Download a free app, set up your characters, and start taking there, one frame at a time. You'll know. learn a lot very Hopefully quickly, better. like how to secure your camera, how to block out the window so the lighting doesn't keep shifting, and you'll keep getting better from there. Don't worry about making it perfect, because it won't be. Learn to lose yourself in the joy of bringing inanimate objects to life. 
I was 11 years old when I first picked up a handy cam, and 21 years later, I'm doing kind of the same thing, just a lot better. It was 14 years wow. before I actually started a YouTube channel and started posting my content online. A couple months later, I was contacted by the LEGO group and asked if I'd be interested in doing some jobs for them. And I've been a professional stop motion animator ever since. One of the key things that makes a video engaging is having your characters feel relatable. They're just inanimate objects, but through you as the animator, you are acting with the character and you are creating emotions that the audience can then relate to. Try to imagine yourself as each character Think through, what are they feeling? What are they thinking? And come up with visual ways to convey that to the audience. Maybe if they're angry, they shake for a second. Maybe if they're fearful, have them cower a little. Things like that just really connect the audience to the character and makes the inanimate object feel like it's really alive. That's what I love most about stop motion animation. It's creating a world for viewers to escape from reality and just believe in this fun fantasy setting and then come back to real life. I'm watching on my phone chat. If it's lagging, it's refreshed. it's on you guys. Uh, it's your internet, creation. sorry. So Kevin, you're amazing. I love the way that he got his start making movies with just whatever he had lying around. That is inspiring. And the way he conveys emotion from his characters with just a look or a little move. Like this guy, he's excited or absolutely terrifying. terrifying. Okay, well, I'm excited because we are just moments away from the live show. Up next is Inez Vazquez, a scientific botanical builder. Try saying that five times fast. Scientific botanical builder, 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 scientific botanical builder. Scientific botanical builder. Scientific botanical builder. Nailed it. Put the mic down. I don't know what you want from me, chat. Hi, I am Inez. I'm an a fall from Manila and I build Philippine flowers. I'm a biology major and wow. I spent a lot of time studying plant taxonomy. And I would spend hours studying specimens, drawing them, and writing about their different characteristics. And it was something that I really enjoyed. And when I started building, I thought of it the same way that I would try to make my build as accurate as possible. Because I thought of myself more as a scientist rather than as a Lego artist. I started building the flowers because I wanted to build something that would promote That's Philippine beautiful. biodiversity. And I was so surprised at how much people enjoyed them. I even sent photos of Rafflesia Leonardi to my professor, Dr. Barcelona, because she was on the team that had discovered the species. And she really, really liked it. So that encouraged me to build more. But making accurate flowers is very difficult. I have to balance the accuracy versus the entire look of the flower and use my creativity. The most difficult part is choosing oh, the studs. which That's parts so cool. to use. For example, this is Delenia philippinensis or the Catmon. And for this build, I used windshields and clamshells to make petals and sepals. It worked out just right. But sometimes, there are no available parts, so I have to build it from scratch. For example, here. This is Serato Central. Thanks, Ollie. Vasily. Someone this said hello from Denmark. Hi, guys. And I had the Welcome most difficult time building the central part uh, for I the I think it'll column. end at 2, 2 Finally, PM. I decided to use these parts. So the main I show. I used a lightsaber and a gear. So in building the flowers, I have had to be creative. Someone recently told me that there is art in science and science in art. And that's how hmm. I started thinking of my building. It's a balance of both science and art. I built three more flowers I don't know if I can and agree about that, brought but... <laughs> them to the Japan Brick Fest. And I can still remember how happy the yeah, children were the bottom of the timer, whenever yeah. they would look at the flowers. They would smile and point it out to their parents. And seeing them, I was so happy to be able to tell them that these are flowers from the Philippines. And I realized that this is what I want to do. I want to build things <laughs> that would show wow, children from all how around the world. Hi, guys. my country is and how beautiful the world is. There. <laughs> 
wow, Inez, are you serious? Those flowers are gorgeous. Such creative part usage and such cool techniques. I love how proud she is of her heritage. And what an amazing way to share it with the world. I wanna go to the Philippines. I wanna see flowers with super long names. Speaking of things I wanna see, I am so excited. All right, all right, all right, all right we get it, you're how excited. About you? What are you excited about? No, tell me, come on. Yes, talk to your screen. No way. Tell me, me chat. Too. Now Tell let's me. meet a couple of builders who are masters of the mock. What's a mock? Well, Richard Board and Flynn DeMarco are about to tell you. Oh, from Lego Masters. Hi, I'm Flynn. I'm Richard. Oh, like for me there. Good like for me there. We are so excited to see all of you here today for LegoCon. We're sitting here with a mock that we made ourselves. Mock is my own creation. That's different from a set in that you design it yourself. He's not the host. One There's of the best ways the, that he's you just can the start the building show a mock person. is by building what you know. And we know theater. We come from theater. This mock actually opens in the front so that you can see the inside. Theaters have a lot of stories to tell, and ours is no different. And here, we use color to help tell our stories, like the hats and costumes in Let's our hope, costume Shamus. room. Let's hope. And then downstairs in the theater, you can see that we've used Shamus? the I mean, red Shamus. theater Sorry. seats, and of course, the classic red theater curtain. Curtain going up. Uh, it's just a pre-show right now. Great way to help you tell These guys are their Lego ambassadors. They're from Lego Masters. You um... can really show the emotions. Here's a shot in the back of the oh, that's theater, really cool. and you can see the technicians walking around on the catwalk, and there's our cast of characters. Why did they of build course, that on the Lego Masters? Of course, the biggest story we had to tell was on the stage, <laughs> so we made sure to use colors that we hadn't used anywhere else in the model, like pink, light blue, and lime green. And that is the story of our theater. Now, if you're wondering how you can make a door on the front of your mock that opens up, well, you're going to want to use a hinge. This is the kind of hinge we used on the theater. It's called a plate hinge. It's two plates connected together at the corners that move like this. It's made up of a couple of one by two plates. There's a ball hinge. This is one of our favorite kind of hinges. It has no a way you're going to build a door like that. that together. No way you're going to build then, a door like both that. Both of these plates can move in any direction that you want. That's kind of like your shoulder. It moves all around lots of different ways. There's also this, I like the Queen which is called in the back an there. indexed hinge. And with an indexed hinge, wherever you move one side of your hinge, the brick stays exactly where you want it. And it moves Thanks, sort of like your elbow, just one way. You can make your own hinge using a clip and a bar. Put the two together like this, and you have a working hinge. Another way we like to incorporate story. Hey, did the people who get sent to... Uh, movement. We made a huge model. It was about four and a half feet tall, and wow. it was called Treasure of the Snake Queen. It's about a band of adventurers, mini figures, that go up a huge mountain and battle the evil Snake Queen at the end. Wow. And we incorporated all different kinds of movement Whoa. in this. We used up and down movement. We used turntables to make things Peter, the spin thing around. at the bottom right and is a timer for when the show actually to move starts. We minifigures from one place to the next. Sometimes we have a simpler story to tell. And even just a little bit of movement is enough to really bring it to life. This is the story of us walking our dog Logan in the park. There's us as mini dolls right there. Now, one thing about Logan is he really, really likes to chase squirrels. So we thought that we could tell that story with the simple movement of Logan jumping up and down next to the tree. Just like this. Now you're probably wondering how we made that work. It's actually pretty simple. This is a crank. You can turn it round and round and it makes this axle go up and down. An axle. The way this works is, this crank here turns an axle. I want to see the other one again. That was so cool. It has a cam on it. And a cam is like a wheel that's shaped like an egg. So that's how we make this go up and down with a crank. Now you can see how you can use color, storytelling, and movement to really bring your Lego models to life. Thanks everybody for joining us today, and we hope you Why have don't a I great remember time him having Lego tattoos? Con. Happy building. Great work, guys. So detailed, so fun. I love adding movement to builds. And that treasure of the Snake Queen mock? It was amazing. Yeah. You know what else is amazing? Show more of uh, that. The Lego Con live show that's great for fans of all ages. Oh, this guy's begin. angering me. Yep. But first, <laughs> let's meet Kat Harris, who has found an amazing way to stay connected with her family, even when they're far apart. Like, we know what we're here for. <laughs> I did that so the camera would have something to focus on, so I wouldn't be blurry. 
Hi, my name is Kat Harris. I am an AFOL, an adult fan of Lego from outside of Baltimore, Maryland in the United States. And I get the have been a fan of my rooms. entire life. I have Jordan, an older brother and an older sister, and we really always enjoy building that, together. Not much has changed from when we were a kid to today. Like me, they're AFOLs, and we played together as kids, and we still enjoy the hobby as adults. The only difference really is we live on opposite sides of the country, but with video calling and today's technology, that doesn't really stop us from enjoying our hobby together we will work wow. on collaborations anytime we oh have an opportunity gosh, look at the my brother and i made a cute there. little comic That's book beautiful. where he built out this nice little cityscape and he made these little scenes that were built into the mock and i took pictures and we made a fun Thank little you, comic to display along with it and then my sister and i share an instagram account and we built together regularly as well so it's definitely a family hobby. We finally got my mom into it, so it took us years, but we got her too. <laughs> we always check in on each other and share mocks and tips. And if we go to a convention, we always want to make sure to do a collaboration together. It has definitely kept us closer together as siblings. I don't always go into a you build with a concrete snake, plan. Oreo. I know generally the size I want, the type of structure, and the general look. But that being said, I often make multiple instances or versions of different elements of the build. I do look a lot that. of trial and error, which means I'm left with quite the scrapyard, as I call it. And I always try to keep those builds intact. Really, it's just a quick way to look at some of the connections I've made. Yeah, pun intended. This is I the way. I just keep a lot of random Lego connections, even if it's not necessarily used in the mock build that I'm currently scrapyard. working on. I'm able to Where? keep it, recycle it, and it stays scrap in the scrapyard scrap for later. Unlike a lot of people, I do sort by color on a lot of things. I know, Same. I know. It's not very popular, but my biggest it's tip not? would be sort in a way that works for you. Some people maybe really? just collect. Some people love to build cool. sets. Some people love to build mocks. It's a very open hobby that is welcoming of all types of people from all over the world. Cat, that scrapyard idea is genius. It's Why don't not I borrow it? I don't think because I just did. And the fact that your whole family is involved. I mean, how great is that? Um, with other people is one of my Do you start by color or by piece, I love it. Chat. Okay. Sometimes it's peace, but most no, of the time it's color. The closest we've ever been in the history of history to the first ever Lego Con. Can you believe it? And we have more tips and tricks on their way. What a day. Now it's time for Lego fan designer Donnie Chen, who gets inspired by what's around him. I can't. I can't with him. I can't. My yeah, name color. is Donnie Chen, and I'm the fan designer of the Lego Grand Piano. don't sort. I'm a piano That's teacher, a piano tuner, and technician, and I've been playing this wonderful instrument for over 30 years now. After building a couple of Lego official kits, I started making my own wow. model of my own house using Lego bricks, trying to replicate Wait, all the furniture and details inside it. The house model received some good feedback from my friends and families. I wanted I think to do they this gave for me so lots long. of confidence to create a submission for the Lego Idea platform and see if you could become an official product for everyone to enjoy. Lego Ideas is such a great platform to share your creations and ideas with other Lego fans around the world. It's also a great place to see creations and models made by Oh yeah, they're revealing the um, try to learn their building techniques and their concepts as well. The sports. The community is thing. very friendly and supportive. They're they always the will give you very positive feedbacks on your model and try to help you improve them. And I'm looking forward to build more models for the Lego Ideas. As a piano teacher, I always get asked by my students how a piano works and what's inside the piano. So I always want to have a model piano that can be taken apart to show my students mm. without actually taking my own piano apart. At that moment, I was looking at this mini piano and thinking maybe I could just make it bigger and with movable keys that can be pressed down. And I think that will be a very cool model to submit to the idea platform. So I think that's the initial idea of me creating I think this the guy... piano. Can I, I started designing the piano it's on beautiful, the computer and he's honestly started a movement. The and guitars, the sessions, and the, there's a violin that someone else submitted. It's amazing. It really is. Well. And then also the dampers and the pedals. It's a process of just keep challenging myself and see how many details I can put in this model. Jordan, that's awesome, man. That's During awesome. the process, my wife also gave stuff, me Jordan. some Thank good ideas as well. For example, she asked me if the bench can be adjustable and also the floorboard can be soft closed. So I tried uh, to put those details in Whoa. the photo as well. But the first time I played with Lego Bricks the was big actually piano? in my friend's house when I was in primary school. The one he that they showed on the shop, it's available. Yeah. I really love that set. 
It's the I biggest ideas project to date. Inspiration from my daily life. And oh, he I was the one that did the violin, object, really? No, think about it. I can recreate. Are you sure about that? Like a bricks, including all the functions in it. For someone who just started to build I a creation, I'll suggest them start with something small, maybe just a furniture in your house, like a TV, a fridge, a sofa, or maybe just a corner of your room. And just start building with whatever Lego bricks they have in their hands. With all kind of different Lego elements, I think Samuel, the possibility oh, is endless. that's not him, is it? Was that him? You know how I know Donnie is brilliant? No, Because he listens not. to his partner. Someone and else. he created the most amazing piano build since, like, the inventor of the piano, Vincent Piano. Or whoever invented the piano. I don't know who invented the piano. I'm gonna stop saying piano. Our final April is minifig photographer extraordinaire Anna Batanga. But do you know what's in two minutes? To the first ever Lego convention! <laughs> I'm Anna Batanga, or Four Bricks Tall, and I'm a Lego photographer. I love shooting Lego minifigures. To me, they are the perfect subjects. Before I start shooting, I create a custom character. <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite parts of Lego photography. I love going through all my little drawers of torsos, heads, hair, and legs, and creating an interesting character, because everything for me starts with a subject. That's Someone's gonna walk in and think that I'm being Lego crazy, but I would place. just walk I could create in. all of these little people and bring them to life in a way, in a photo. And I can make urban characters or fantasy characters from all the parts that I have in my collection. Oh, I've when seen this. When I first started I've out, seen I would just take one work. minifig with me, put it in my pocket, and have my phone in the other pocket. It's all I needed back then to have fun with my photography. It was really just about the fun of finding locations that I thought would work well with my minifigs. So I would just go to the park and look for little rocks or flowers or a favorite of many Lego photographers, Moss. Moss is great because hey, it's hey, like can I be still. honest? They're missing and one. They're show missing your one thing. In a small, Look in the chat. What's going world, by? It's digital hard to figures. Moss. Rocks were great. You didn't as interview mountain any, ranges any too. digital artists. Or you can I'm go sad. the other way and put your mini fig I'm walking sad. on a tree branch and pretend they are just little people in a human-sized world. There are no rules. Okay, maybe one. Don't put your mini fig in food. These days, <laughs> I rarely shoot with my phone I'm, anymore I, because no, I'm, I'm no longer looking I'm for quick and easy. I want complicated and challenging. So now I've even built out a dedicated studio. There's nothing wrong with I love to work with lighting and atmospheric things. effects like rain and mist. I like shooting in this little woodland book nook that I made because right now I'm into fantasy characters. That's there are so many possibilities and anyone of any skill level can get into it. Chat, Those all my videos phenomenal. with my phone, you have no idea how, how great your phone so can be. Just like out for a major Brotherhood uh, workshops said earlier. That is gonna have to wait, because guess what? It's time for LegoCon! Oh Con yeah, it, Stranger wild. Things today, that'd be, that's wild. a great idea, you go wilder. Uh, Maria. I knew you could go wilder. Check out the main page you're watching from right Let's now. Let's go chat! Choose your Woo! <laughs> LegoCon! German, French, Spanish. Right he side, yeah. And accessibility options, American Me too. Language, hey, look, he's got the flying fox behind him. First ever official LegoCon starts in 10 seconds. My name is Adam Ward. It has been so fun Wait, hanging out with Adam, you. was now, this the first one? To start Are the you show. sure this is Lego the first Con? LegoCon? It's on. Are you sure? I think this is the second one. I, I think I missed it the first seven times. Can, can, you, can, can you say it again? <laughs> Love this beat. Hi, for the first time from Bill in Denmark, it's LegoCon 2021. Let's go. Back. Oh, leg. Oh, more leg. Oh my goodness, it's LLAMA. I'm his biggest Hello, fan. Welcome to LegoCon. I'm Melvin O'Doom. I'm Michelle Carey, and I can't believe we are finally Whoa, she's really quiet. to you live from the Lego house. Home of the brick. Yes, for the next 90 minutes, this is I the place to be as we bring you the online experience for LEGO fans everywhere. And what do we have in store? We hear you wondering where LEGO fans wonder no more. That's right. Buckle up and prepare for a jam-packed live show as we take you behind the LEGO curtain with guys. tons of entertainment, big reveals of brand new sets, box fresh news stories, studio chats with real-life LEGO designers, and a never tried before global build event. So get ready to unleash your inner design skills. Now, I don't know about you, Michelle, but I've been getting a lot of building practice in over the last year while stuck at home. Yes, and on that note, oh. I just want to say that everything created here today has been done so under the most strictest oh. guidelines to like. keep us all healthy and safe. And LegoCon is the online experience for Lego fans everywhere, and that includes us here in the studio and behind the camera right team. Yeah! Woo! 
and you, your family and friends, so make sure you join in the conversation. Uh, it's live, Sensei. And it there says. are a lot of They're ways live. you can share your thoughts with us. You can take part in live voting when you see our polls appear on the webpage you're watching us from right now. We'll let you know each time a poll goes live, and you'll okay, see them just say, below us. You might have screen. to scroll down a little bit on your webpage. Yep, you can submit questions to our guests using our Q&A box, which is just also below us on the homepage. Just scroll down, mm. type your question into the box, and hit submit. Don't worry, we'll be reminding you about that too. We got you. Also, you're going to see my personal favorite feature, our emoji button, so you can share your reactions to everything you're seeing throughout the show. I'm sending you some emoji love right now, Michelle. I saw it earlier. Oh, it's well, here. Well, thank you, Melvin. Here's some wow. emoji love right back to you. Ooh, claps. Thanks very much. <laughs> cool. Hey, you can share your comments throughout the show on Twitter using the LegoCon hashtag. We'll be reading out some of those as well. So yeah, we're going to be checking in. With I don't know Spider Victor. I hope so. And on that note, Melvin, I want to check in with you. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about this epic global build? I don't know. Well, Michelle will be revealing all in about If it's a space thing, I'm not participating. It's going to be a pretty special opportunity for you at home. And yes, you behind the camera. I see you, Daisy, to become part of Lego House history. I think it's fair to say we're all going to be signing up for that. But first, it's time to introduce you guys to a rather special guest. Yes, right, Gabriel? Our resident it's great. DJ and producer, give it up for LLAM. LLAMA. Is there a is there a wall? You're gonna love There is. Everybody, now, spam up say, your llama emotes. DJ myself, I am seriously jealous of your decks. Are they made completely out of Lego bricks? Yeah. So can I get a go of these at the after party? Oh, right? it's so oh, cringy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, I'm going to leave Dex oh. to you two because I just got an idea for adding some music of my own. Michelle, you can't leave it there. There's only so much anticipation I can take. I'll check in with you soon, Melvin, I promise. But first, this has always held a special oh. place for <laughs> So what better way to celebrate our passion for space builds <laughs> that than awkward with a silence. real life Lego designer who has worked Oh, your llamas are being blocked. They don't sets. know why. Show. Give it up for George, everybody. Show the llamas. Hello. George, thank you so much for being no here. No problem. I love your wardrobe, by the way. It Fantastic matches the space, theme. Yeah. And first of all, thank you for being here. You have a dream job. It seems so cool. We have so many awesome space sets out here right now. Let's just dive in. Wait, Tell me about this the guy that follows me on So what we got right here is the brand new NASA Space Shuttle Discovery, which we've created and launched this April to celebrate 40 years of the Space Shuttle program. Oh my gosh. This is that George is Gilliatt, is that what it is? Pro thank you for the $2. For super space fans. Oh, oh, yeah. social anxiety. This is the biggest version yeah, it is. we've ever created. This guy created, follows me on Twitter. We've, been, we've managed to put in all of the features you'd I know expect. Him. We we've interacted got once. the landing gear that retract to the back. Ooh. We've got the bay doors that can open up and even tiny details like the little cameras inside the bay so the astronauts can see what's going on. That's so incredible. One of my favorite things about Lego sets is it's not just what you see on the outside. There's always so many fun details on the inside. And when I was walking over here, I noticed this one's the ISS, right? That's correct, Chat. yeah. One, so or that. one or two, one or two. Do you say details or do you say details? One for details, two for details. An idea for a Lego product. And if it achieves 10,000 votes, it has the opportunity to become a real Lego product. That is so incredible. And I know we're going to be talking a bit about Lego ideas later, but I think it's so cool how fans can, you know, vote and get their own ideas into real life. Two products. details. That's so amazing. Yeah. So I want to talk a bit more about your process for creating these amazing, amazing sets because when Definitely you create two. something. Oh my, I haven't seen a single one, one person say um, details. properties, let's say. That's one thing. But these are based one on person. Real Xavier, you're just trying spaceships. to be edgy. I know yeah. you. How does that work? <laughs> So what was super special with the ISS doing this is that we got to get the reference from all of the different space agencies that helped create it. And we spoke to the real life engineers who assembled the ISS in space. I hope so, Brick. And we've translated yeah. that experience into building the ISS physically out of bricks. The commitment to attention to detail It's not is my so stream incredible. chat, it's them. And I want to ask you some questions. I think about Lego needs too, to sell shirts this one like This seems to be the has. most complex build out of all the ones we have You know here. what I mean? So this I'd buy that. I'd buy a classic space shirt space if they sold rocket. something like that. And whilst the space shuttle and the ISS are based on older space icons, oh, the leg. this is at the cutting edge of space travel because it's based on the Artemis rocket that's going to be launching at the end of this year. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. And... I heard there's an extra special isn't, feature for it, yeah? Isn't there that is. set yeah. from 2019? Oh, extra this, demonstration. This model is app enabled, 
and we love to integrate technology into Lego products when we think it can. Uh, oh, that's actually a really cool physical sticker. Physical play experience. Oh wow! Thanks, nine hundred. So what we've got right here is the app creates the the screen that the astronauts. Whoa! Can look at. That's so cool. And everything, and we can simulate the launch of the rocket. My phone couldn't fit in there, now. but that's really Four, cool. Three, two, one. The set's retired. Oh my, oh my gosh. God. That's incredible. That's actually really cool. That is though. amazing. I love that you guys integrate. They should do that for a bat computer. The, the products so often to make them really relevant to today. So it's not relevant like if these, it's retired. Do you get to work <laughs> with NASA to make sure they're as true to the real world as possible. Absolutely. The Lego Group and NASA have collaborated for over ten years now. We work closely with them. We know you have. Sure as Lego Ideas fans. Correct. Something like the we, ISS. We know uh, you that's have. developed over a few years, <laughs> and the space shuttle is an icon that we keep coming back to year after year. And by working closely with them, we can make sure something like the space shuttle discovery can be accurate. It's not specific again. I gotta reiterate. Mission. It's not like my PS stream chat. It's example. their stream that it's lagging. And it means that every single detail, right down to the tiniest things, like where each individual astronaut on the mission, is correct. That's amazing. So if a real life astronaut were to look at this, they would recognize all the, the pieces That's of it, That's correct, right? yeah. Well, I think it's only right that we do bring in a space professional. So oh, yeah. joining us live via astronaut. satellite, how appropriate. Please welcome former NASA astronaut, Mike Massimino. Yeah, their, their streams really stopped. Welcome, yeah. welcome, Mike. I can't believe someone as busy as you has time for us today. Thank you so much for joining and for being a part of this. So I'm personally a, a huge little plug fan for his book there in the back. Impact challenges. So I was pretty jealous when I saw that you got to build a real Lego lunar lander in zero gravity. What was that like? Oh, it's pretty awesome. Thanks for having me, Michelle. Thanks for having me, and thanks for the, the, oh, I didn't the designer there. Thank you so Sorry. much for making Whoops. these great products Sorry. Sorry. That, that we can learn about space with, even if we're former astronauts. brings back a lot of memories. Doing that zero-gravity uh, lunar lander project was two years ago, and I love playing, uh, working <laughs> and building Legos <laughs> on Earth and with my kids and with my friends, but there's nothing like doing it in zero-gravity. Man, looking gravity. like it's an iron ball. a little bit more challenging, <laughs> but a whole heck of a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. Well, I think we all want to see it, yeah? Let's see it. So, let's see a recap. Uh, that's my favorite comment of the stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, that looked like so much fun. I mean, oh. here on Earth, with gravity, I already have trouble keeping track of all my Lego pieces. So um, that was pretty incredible. I so can't earlier unsee we were it now. <laughs> Artemis Mike, obviously you're someone who's super knowledgeable on that subject. But before we get into the details, let's check out a sneak peek. Oh, that was so mean. 50 years ago. Oh, I saw Marcus. I mean, wow. Well, Mike, give us the headlines. What is the Artemis program? It's uh, pretty exciting stuff, Michelle. Uh, it's uh, NASA's next big project uh, to bring people back to the moon, but this time to stay and explore more than we did 50 years ago, and then use that as a precursor to learn about what it's like to be on the moon and uh, operate in, in that environment to Thank go you, eventually to Mars. So it's not just about going to the moon, it's about eventually getting to Mars. That is incredible. And a, a question I think we're all wondering is, where are the astronauts going to live while they're there? Yeah, it's kind of interesting the way they planned it out. They're uh, going to be building a, what they call the Lunar Gateway. So it's going to be uh, something like a habitat uh, experimental module space station, but it's going to be in orbit around the moon. So it's going to be a place that you can launch from Earth to go to, and you would stay on that gateway for a while and then go down to the moon for different I, expeditions, I different missions on the moon, and then come back to the gateway before you went back home to the Earth. So they're going to be living uh, for a lot of it on the moon, but they're always going to be on the gateway. It's going to be available for astronauts to do research and to learn and to use it as kind of a place to go in between Earth and moon. That is incredible. And are there any other ways this mission will make history? That table's so cool, eh? Yeah, well, we haven't been back to the moon for we haven't been to the moon for 50 years, and those are just short visits. We're going to be settling there, 
But uh, the, the other been historical part of this years? is when they did this 50 years ago, it was all uh, uh, mainly military test pilots, one geologist that went, but they were all men that went back then. The space program has changed an awful lot. And I think a lot of that has to do with Lego because it's gotten both young boys and what? girls interested in, in engineering and science. And what we see as a result of that, the last astronaut class, for example, was half, half men, half women. So the, what, what Artemis will do is not only get us back to the moon, but get the first woman to the moon and the first people of color to the moon. So I, I think that is also very hmm. historical because if we're going to accomplish all these great things in space, we need everyone to participate. That's so incredible. I, that, I'm so, so excited for this. And what will the crew do when they get there? Uh, they're going to be uh, busy and uh, I think having a great time, of course. Uh, I guess you have to win the 70s in 2020. In the, yeah, that's uh, in the crazy. gateway Makes module, sense. they'll be able to study the moon, also have some zero gravity experiments to do. But they're oh. also going to be learning how to live on a planetary surface. For no, long they've just talked about space. You, space you haven't missed anything. Given Don't us worry. A lot of time. We have 21 years we've been have, have astronauts on the space station that we switch in and out from time to time. But we've learned how to live for long periods of time in zero gravity. That's different than being on a planetary surface and dealing with a little bit of gravity, dealing with rocks and dust and things like that. Uh, that we're going to have to deal with when we go to Mars. So oh. they're going to be learning about the moon. They're going to be learning about experiments around the moon but they're also going to be learning how to get people to Mars and be able to live there as well. Thanks, Copper. That I appreciate that, man. incredible. Oh, my gosh. Well, as far as show openings go, I think this one was pretty out of this world. I haven't Let's said say anything a huge bad about thank space. Thank you to our guests for I'm... joining. Everyone, give it up for Mike George. It's not uh, an interest of mine. Also, if you don't want me talking, you can watch the stream yourself. Well, uh, it's on lego.com. We're here to watch it together to do, and so just chat. I'm going to throw it over so. to Melvin. What's happening with you, Melvin? I'm right here, Michelle, and nothing's happening yet, but that's about to change. Nothing Big has time. happened Now, we yet. promise you guys a never tried before live build, and that's exactly what you're going to get starting now. So you see this wall, it stretches all the way between the red and yellow zones here at Lego House, and yes. it's huge. Well, Lego fans, together, we're going to oh, turn into there. one of the biggest pieces of Lego Dots art created to date. Now, Melanie, you're the play hero here at Lego House. Mm -hmm. Dream job, by the way. What's the plan <laughs> for this build? Well, Melvin, we are yeah, inviting our Thomas, Lego Thomas, it's it's not on my end; it's on their end. New epic build um, here from Lego House. We call it Dot Lego House. Love the name. Yeah, <laughs> uh, starting from it's brick this builder moment, Amy, everyone. Woo! Running the summer. Um, She's from Lego Masters. She's a judge there on the such right. You, me, and really everybody. She made the chance uh, to build this. She giant created Lego, Lego dots. Dot mural wow. uh, together, and it will live here in Home of the Brick. Okay, so many questions. First of all, why are we making this with Lego dots? We chose Lego dots because dots is all about making designs and patterns, what? and we think it will make a, a really striking installation here in Lego House for our future guests to see. All right, I'm in. Okay. But yeah, it cut off too, Freddy, for me. We're going to yeah. do it as easy it, as we can. So each of us will make our own design on a six by six white base plate. Mm -hmm. And then every single what does that design, have to do with us? our mural will then grow until we have filled this wall with 41,408 of these little fellas. Wow, that's mm -hmm. a lot. OK, important question now. I'm seeing a lot of red, white and blue dot tiles. Mm -hmm. yeah. What kind of look are we going for? That is a really good America. question. Because by the end of the summer, our aim is to have uh, created a huge gradient going from red from here mm -hmm. into yellow in our yellow zone. So oh, that's today cool. we will be kicking it off with the red zone. So all the signs submitted must be with red, white, and blue do dotted on white base plates. What does she okay, mean? Okay, well, this submitted. is going to be epic, and we want you all to become part of Lego House history by taking part in this build. So make sure you submit your designs wherever you are in the world by going to legohouse.com forward slash dot. You can enter whether or not you currently own Lego Dots tiles. If you do already have a six by six base plate for one of your sets and the right dots colors, then you can build your piece and take a photo. If you don't, then you can draw your piece and take a photo, or you can use online design tool to create your design oh. and download a photo finally you can share your photo with us by following the simple steps online at legohouse.com <laughs> now along with your design your name will be immortalized in a digital plaque right here for future visitors to see our play agents johanna and gusto oh, really? are ready to start building your designs as That's they come in cool. guys are you warmed up 
and ready to go. Totally. totally. Do you need to do any stretches? Maybe a bit. Okay, because we're not insured if you hurt yourself. <laughs> Are you guys ready to get creative? Okay, well, joining us right now is Amy, a LEGO designer here in Billund, and a fellow member of the LEGO Masters team as a judge on the US TV show. Please give it up for Amy, everyone! I was going to say, not just any Amy, designer. Amy, good to see you, girl. Melvin, it's awesome. Yes, our LEGO paths have finally crossed. I know, I can't believe it's taken so long. Too long. So what Dots design tips do you have for our audience? I have so many, but my first would certainly be to keep it simple because you don't need to do a complicated design. I can do simple very to well. To have a big effect. So perfect, you're going to be great with Dots because look, if I just make some simple, circles like this and I repeat the pattern a lot, you instantly get quite a cool effect. And if you just change a few colors, mix the design up a bit, up a little bit, you get something totally different. That's really cool. Yeah, keeping it simple is key. Also, we have several colors <laughs> to work with. So you okay, can use Chad said it. As a short person, I can't really say much, so. Colors, or even just one color. She is tall though. She cool, is right? tall. Magical. Yes. But and then we have our you should probably build a booth for him a little the quarter stand. tile okay. or the pizza tile, as we like to call it in the Lego Dots team, the Delicious. pizza slice. Um, and oh, we I love call it, it the watermelon it's so slice. Versatile. You can use it to make so many different patterns. So you can make circles, like I showed. You can make stripes. You can make diagonal stripes too. So cool. And you can make very cute little flowers. So do you just play around with the orientation and how you yeah, mix same them here, together si. with the colors? She's, she's really good. And you get lots of variety. I actually really, really like the judges on Lego Masters. I think they, they do a really good job. Play around with the dots. Whether you mash lots of different patterns, mm -hmm. whether you go a little bit more literal. She's not something like that. Heart, he's just short chat. Here, or a funny he's just face. short. Oh. Like look at that. the height of the other guys. Unless they're all Well, that is awesome, Amy. And while I finish off my design, let's see how some of our A4 community are getting on with theirs. Let's build. Move those dots. First, we're going to go to the Try Dots website. Okay. Base plate. The six by six white base plate for this. I got to create an emoji. Okay. Create a face. Let's try this one. I want to make a light smile face. I'm going to start with a red pizza slice. I've seen them used in like that's the pink. House. That's pink. I'm actually grabbing the red surf. one. She's grabbing the wrong one. What do you think? That looks like love. I like it. Oh, so you can just replace it with. Ah, oh, you drag and click. And yeah, I'm gonna like repeat the pattern down here. The mirror. Created a nice little diamond there. You're using your negative space. White circle. Let me go. That's a mustache. So it looks like whenever you're finished, you just click finish. Download your design. Cool. Some amazing builds taking shape there. And I've got my mural piece here. So I'm can I get a drum right now, roll chat. in the studio, please? It's my honor to declare Dot Lego House artwork live. If I could just reach it, I'm a bit short. See, yes! he admitted it. He admitted it. He admitted it. We were right, chat. He's Steve, just short. how you doing down there? Wonderful, fantastic. Remember, guys, head to legohouse.com slash dots to share your designs, and we'll be back to check on our progress later on on the show. Michelle, where you at? What's happening, girl? Well, I've just finished my design, Melvin, so I'll be handing this off to you in a bit, and we're getting ready to celebrate another moment in Lego history. Harry Potter fans, this one's for you. And for me, because I'm also a really Chat, big Harry Potter design? fan. So this year marks the 20th anniversary of the release of the very There's first Lego Harry Potter sets. So to celebrate this magical milestone, we've come up with our own special twist on a battle of Hogwarts that will put two of our Harry Potter designers and their professional Lezo Lego wizardry to the test. Hi, my name is Marcus Vesa, and I'm a LEGO Harry Potter designer. And my name is Georgia, I'm also a designer. And we're here today to take on this super awesome, amazing, and exciting LEGO Harry Potter speed building challenge. Let's do it, Marcus. In front of us, we have this super awesome LEGO Harry Potter set, and we're going to go head to head to see who's the if first I get one copyright putting the striked, last I'm lose piece my on this set. Mind. I'm so going to beat you to this. Not so fast. So while we're trying to do this, we're also going to try to answer some questions about how it is to have the best job in the world, and that is being designer for LEGO Harry Potter. Definitely no better job than that. I actually hear that we're going to have some distractions coming our way. It actually might turn out to be a harder task than I thought. Are you ready for the challenge? Absolutely. Let's do it. Ready, set, 
Go. Oh, you have to email there them the design. There is always the one piece that's missing. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here. That has to be Diagonale. It's such an iconic location. I think it's one of the highlights of my whole career. I can second that. Look at there. <laughs> so this guy on the left chat, he's in charge of uh, he's in charge of the Lego Harry Potter theme, and uh, believe it or not, he, the one uh, we're building right now is definitely one of my favorite moments from the movie. It's just super intense, but it also comes with some of my most favorite minifigures. How awesome would it be if we had like a superpower? You could find the piece that you've been looking for. Mm. I gotta speed this up. He uh, he designed the 2013 Arkham Asylum chat. Got it. <laughs> That's there's no chance that I'm getting through this. I love this game. Okay, are we done yet? <laughs> Let me help you out. Help you out, buddy. What about now? I can't wait to see what they're gonna throw at you now. <laughs> I'll help you this one time. No, no, to the other side. <laughs> All right. We managed to put a little portraits in the classroom books that we did, and the portraits actually Sense. referenced some of us in the design team. Yeah, try to find ourselves. Struggling much, huh? Boom, sent. <laughs> I'm officially gonna be on the wall now, Chad. Gotta be for him now. <laughs> I'm just taking a moment to enjoy this. This is really hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's I great. do that all the time. It's not that hard with left-handed. Putting windows in the frames with two hands. Do you by any chance know where's my sticker sheet? Perhaps. <laughs> I think I will. Yeah, rewatch all the movies, which happens every year anyway. Relive the whole adventure yet again, and probably building the new wave of Lego Harry Potter sets at the same time. That would be pretty perfect. There's not a whole lot of pieces left. Okay, last pieces. I'm confused, I so they're just building the set. I don't know how I fell so behind. <laughs> nice try. I sound like Rambo? Yes. No, 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 oh, no, no. Yeah, hey, you wanna build, you wanna Hold on, buddy, build the Lego? Done. I'll build the Lego. This was a lot of fun, but I gotta go now. I'll see you at Lego House. See you soon, buddy. Amazing work, Georgie. Those were some serious building skills. So joining D2C us live on the reveal. main stage, please D2C welcome our reveal. courageous runner-up, Marcos! <laughs> Thank you for designing the best Marcos! Arkham Asylum. I've been so excited to chat with you. This this section is very, very exciting for me. So I've heard that there are some seriously magical celebrations in store for the 20th anniversary. Is that correct? That's totally true. So, you know, it's not every year that we get to celebrate a Lego franchise that has been around for 20 years. It's, and it's that, the fact that, that is we really haven't been launching but it hasn't been products for 20 all years. those years. But now, through the first le very Lego Harry Potter set Hi, to pizza. the newest wave, we're bridging Chat, generations that are sharing are so the love good. for Harry Potter through our Lego bricks. And that's something very, very special. That's why we tried to, this time around, create the chest um, set? products that obviously deliver this amazing experience and build details that we we wanted to but also have something extra on top of it so we introduced Ooh. these golden uh, versions of the main characters of harry potter so you have harry ron hermione in this oh. minifigure form in gold because we know kids and adults and everyone really loves shiny goldy things so we have those throughout yep. some of the sets as a little extra collectible and we also have uh, a few other characters that are very important to the franchise as well that's amazing. I love all of the details. I want to know so much more. I don't more. see an empty so table, chat. You worked really closely on these sets with Georgie. Can you tell us some of these details and how you go about making these sets? You know, we are not a huge design team, but we're very passionate oh, fans of weird. both Lego They're and Harry They're chocolate frogs. Potter. There's no so duplicates there. So working this project is truly magical <laughs> for all of us to come together, bring in all the ideas that we get from just watching the movies over and over again, you know, help each other creating the, these replicas of these iconic moments, bringing the right ingredients to not only hopefully stimulate people to, to actually, you know, relieve those memories of watching the movies for the first time as they are building the Lego set, but also allow kids to retell the story in their own way through the minifigures and the, the accessories and so on. So we have a blast really creating these sets. I have to for example, the, uh, the Hogsmeade playset hey, that we have Gorgie. over here, where we have God, the Honeydukes God, and the Sorry. three broomsticks. Gojira. And inside the Honeydukes, you can find actually little boxes of candies, and you have the acid pops and chocolate frogs, like Ron and Harry experiment or, uh -huh. or try it on board. I don't the train, think the tumbler is going to be revealed today, chat. And on top of that, we actually 
added uh, these wizard cards that are completely random. Mm, no duplicates. Across several huh. of our products. And they're just huh. reflecting this magical experience that you see in the movies. Magical Ron says experience. it himself that he has a Not bunch of for my Dumbledore's wallet. cards because he keeps getting the repeated one. And we wanted to bring Exactly, them Danny. How's it going? <laughs> but yeah. And, you know, today Finding we this really see trailers that here. spoil parts of the movies or we see so much out there that it's very hard to have a true surprise. So we wanted to bring these products. Here, I'll when put in the chat. When you open the box, you get what you see in the front of the box, but there's that extra wizard card. You don't know which character you're going to get. That's to submit the dots thing, guys. Surprise. And you can trade it with your friends, with your family, and eventually collect the 16 uh, that we have this time. Eventually. 16, 16 different characters. Oh, eventually. So you can have a bunch of friends all get the set, and everyone has a... A different a, card a different and yeah or the same that's amazing or Marcos, the same card take my galleons i want all of these i'm definitely taking them all home with me well thank you so much marcos everyone let's give it up for marcos and the harry potter team oh one last question yes did you finish your dots design yet oh uh, yes, i did i got my Ooh, right so, love that go. i will make sure this gets up there well let's check in with melvin what's going on with you well, we're going from one smashing moment that makes me sound so British to the next. Now, some of you may that know me as British. the host on the UK version of Lego Masters. And if you know the show, you know the only thing we love. Oh, is that where he's from? Incredible build I, is an I incredible smash. So, Lego Masters fans, this one is for you. Feast your eyes on some of the most epic smash moments from Lego Masters shows all around the world. <laughs> I still haven't seen last week's episode. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's so cool. That was really cool. Oh, I never really realized they used legs for the tongue. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. I oh want them gosh, to do that on the American one. Oh, and for anyone who might a reminder, that Lego uh, Master uh, uh, Season uh, uh, 2 uh, uh, is on right now. Yes. Coming up, we have got a lot in store for you guys. We have Lego House Surprises, a super exciting build for Lego Technic fans, and we're going behind the scenes on the latest release from Lego wow, Ideas. Riveting. Technic. <laughs> but first, Sorry. let's see what you guys are saying online. Okay, so Stella says, how the heck do you build a Lego set in zero gravity? That is so cool. Hashtag LegoCon. Love that. Love that. Thank you, Stella. Okay, Andrew says he's loving the Lego house dots build. Having a digital way to plan and submit ideas is so clever. That's I mean, actually that's really amazing. cool. <laughs> that we were able to that. do that. Love that as well. <laughs> and Derek says, I agree with Marcos saying being able to find the Lego piece you're looking for is an awesome superpower. I think we all need that power. Definitely. As well. uh, meanwhile, Melvin in Billen says, uh, that looks like an impressive collection of beat bits there, Michelle. What's going okay, on? Okay, well, don't look at I'm still in progress. All will be revealed, mm -hmm. Melvin, but I need a little bit more time first. I want to make it awesome for you and LLAMA. All right, well, I'm sure it's going to be a masterpiece. And speaking of masterpieces, How's this for a segue, guys? Welcome, friends, to the Lego House Masterpiece Gallery! Guys, I thought this is one of my favorite parts of the Lego every, House. We've spent a lot of time in here this week because Whoa. it pays a special tribute to fans of Lego. All the artwork so cool. you see in here are totally unique, original pieces made by adult Lego fans. Mm -hmm. Now, Michelle, about that, how do you feel about distracting these guys while I add a few more of my builds in? Well, you can do that, but we better play it cool in front of Lego Playhouse hero, Matias! Oh, yes! Everyone, welcome, Matias. Matias, it is so great to meet you. We're so excited to chat with you. You are a legend here at the Lego House. So tell us a bit about so nervous. what we have in store here, because <laughs> Le the Lego House is you know, familiar to a lot of people, but for someone like me, it's quite far away. Yeah, so as you mentioned, we're standing in the Masterpiece Gallery. And then we have the three dinos, as you can see, as one, one of the big things you see when you come up here. 
And a lot of people ask, why dinos? Um, again, it's a masterpiece display. So we have a lot of fans actually putting up the display here. So we needed something to take care and watch out for the for their builds. So why not put three big dinos? Uh, <laughs> and of course, then we could build them in the different Lego bricks we have. So you can see the first one is the Duplo brick. Often, uh, oh, I never knew it was made into Duplo. A nice dino. You can see it has animals all around in the oh, back wow. here. And it actually has 50,000 Duplo bricks. Wow. Uh, yes. Oh so what? Said that's pretty big. <laughs> then we have the system one or normal uh, brick uh, dino we have here in the middle. Uh -huh. And that has, actually has 250. Oh, and the other one's Technic. And the last one, the Technic here in the end, uh, that's also a pretty amazing build. I have, never knew it that. Has 300 thousand Lego bricks in it. Yeah. I've seen these before, and I and, never uh, knew that they were the different. There is a little gimmick with techniques. the dinos here because that's they're really actually cool. roaring. They're in pain. Right. And do you have any guesses on why they might be in pain? Not because of the ice cream, though, but um, maybe they're they're lost and sad. They're lost and sad. They're actually in the home of the brick, so they, they're good here. Yeah. Okay, not bad, yeah. Good point, good point. Um, they are. Oh, they're stepping on Lego. Even more Lego bricks. <laughs> that might be. We have, of course, 25 million <laughs> bricks, but it actually because they're actually stepping on a Lego brick. Oh yes. This oh. is the home of That's the bricks. Oh my! It it crashed. It crashed again. It's pretty disappointing. I don't. Anyone with me with um. For DC fandom, I don't. I don't remember it ever crashing or anything like that. Yeah. Nope. Uh, you didn't miss Mario. They've talked about um space. They interviewed that astronaut guy already, and then the um, then they interviewed the Harry Potter team. Nothing revealed for that. So, excuse me, yep. Even the 10 hour game theory stream did not even crash. <laughs> yeah, that that's a good point. YouTubers who stream for that long don't even crash. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, that's not good, eh? Nope, no, no reveals or anything like that, not yet. Nope, you haven't missed anything, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, that is more interesting. Nope, no new DC sets. Have they actually confirmed they'll be revealing sets? Yes, I know uh, they are revealing some. I, yeah, they are. I can confirm. Uh, the broken screen is more interesting. Hey, those I actually have seen those dinosaurs before, and I never realized that one was Duplo and one was Technic and one was regular, so that's pretty cool. Any predictions? Well, now that we've seen the Harry Potter panel... Um, no, I don't have any submissions, uh, predictions, sorry. Refresh your page. This is the stream. It has nothing to do with my page. This is the stream itself. It's live here. This is the stream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The gunships being revealed. That'd be cool. What about Lego Sonic? I don't think that's what the reveal... I'm pretty sure what the idea's reveal is, is just the sports thing so yeah marvel's not on the docket yeah oh you want i'll send it again if you guys want to while we wait if you want to do the dots thing you can submit your your thing there i just posted in the chat there guys what about predictions for star wars um i'd love for the uh to see that other set the the forge Yeah, no, Ninjago's not on the list either, unfortunately, so, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, supposedly there's going to be a Minecraft q and I've submitted the questions for that, so, yeah. Thanks for sharing at the Lego Dots. Our play agents will review your submission shortly. Uh, da, 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 da. Cool. No Tumblr, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it still. I'm enjoying being here with you guys. You know, I, I don't really have a, an issue with it. Uh, like, not anything happening, so, yeah. 
like not not that the stream is not happening that's not what i mean i mean like no reveals or anything like we're just chilling you know we're we're enjoying our each other's company um thank you guys this is the most people i've ever had in the stream um i'm loving it i i really am thank you all for being here i really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to to, to hang out with me uh it's been like this for maybe two three minutes now it's back now we got some music oh it cut out now could they have not picked better hosts <laughs> Um, I appreciate you saying that, but that guy's the host from Lego Masters, the UK, so I never realized that. I would love for them to reveal a Minecraft DTC. I think that would be great. Or at least for them to say, hey, in next year we're doing big stuff for Minecraft. I think that'll be good. But at least the music's back. Is there going to be anything DC? Not that we've been told, no. You know what's funny? You know what's interesting, and I haven't been told this or anything like that um, via email or anything, but we have, the embargo is up in an hour for something, and now that this is being delayed, we're going to be revealing this stuff before the actual, um, before the actual uh, reveals, so, yeah. Oh well. He did. He started talking about stepping on Lego and then boom, the stream went down. Yeah. I won't be doing a Black Widow CMF series. I will say that we're going to review the two sets for the movie next week. Um, not next week, the week after, I guess. Yeah. I'd love that if for Mario they revealed something, but I don't think they're going to do it, unfortunately. If we look at the Harry Potter thing, they didn't, they didn't do it. So... That's the first time, the first time it went down, it came back right away. This actually has stayed down. Hi, Harry. How's it going? Yeah. Are you making a video tomorrow? I am. We have the sponsored video releasing tomorrow. Really, really big video. Um, I've been drawing. Um, it is my top 10 uses for the big figures. Uh, for the new Thanos big figure, and I have been so sorry, guys. We had a small technical issue, but we are a ton back. Of big That's right. For it. Now, really in case exciting. you missed it, here are the top five awesome things to do here I at Lego didn't House. Get sent it Let's roll VT. Longs, unfortunately, I'd love. They should have sent it to every ambassador a Lego con box. Yeah. Um, chat, if I can make a recommendation to you all, if you like what you're seeing here with the Lego house, if you have Netflix, look up the Lego house. They have a whole documentary showing off um, the whole design process of it. It's actually really beautiful. Um, I, I really recommend you checking out that, that uh, the documentary on Netflix. It's a really good documentary. I think there's another Lego documentary on there, but uh, yeah, check it out. It's really worth it. It's, it's such a good documentary. It's so cool to see this thing being made. Um, hearing about the restaurant, stuff like that. It's really great. Ah, uh, maybe two hours? I'm not sure. Ooh, the leg. See, if you were concerned that it was my stream, now you saw that it, it actually yeah. crashed. <laughs> so it's on them. We have had the most fun hanging out here at the Lego house all week, and I still can't get over the robots in the yes. restaurant. You know the robots It's actually really crazy, chat. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, be, uh, have some of that. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was quite impressive, uh, but they'll be right here waiting for your next trip to Lego house. Next up, we have a truly show-stopping build and a transatlantic screening of this incredible film. 
Now, I didn't know I was what? a LEGO Technic fan until I saw this in rehearsal. So, LEGO fans, let's see those emoji reactions for the latest incredible creation from the LEGO design team from the Czech Republic. Oh, there's no... That's right. In partnership with automobile one. Lamborghini, it's the life-size all Le LEGO Technic Lamborghini CN FKP37. Here's what I would suggest, okay, for LegoCon, if there's anyone from LEGO watching, which I doubt there is. Um, what they should be doing is they should have pre-recorded everything that doesn't need to be live. Like the Q&A with the Minecraft lady, keep that live. But having them mess up on the teleprompter here on a regular, like just regular, like that's, you know, just cut it out. Like just pre-record that stuff, you know? Pretty crazy that this thing actually drives, eh? It drives... I think... It, I don't know what the, the speed was. It's, it's not very fast, obviously, but it can drive. It's crazy. Now, we tried to get the full size build in the studio, but sadly, we could only fit this one through the doors. Ben, put this in my dressing room. By my bag. <laughs> With my trainers, they're a size, but the small ones, the small black ones. Don't get it lost. Look after it. Thank you, Ben. All right, so Melanie, how are you doing with the build so far? We go. Yeah, it actually really drives. Good. I'll build as fast as they can, yeah. and oh the entry man. so far are looking oh so great. I hope you guys get a raise for all this hard work. Now, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Amy, what's going on over here? Oh, well, we've had so many awesome entries. So right now we're experimenting how we can combine them all together on these boards before we put them up on the wall. Oh, really? Yeah, Scanning for mine. Any favourites, though? Oh, there are so many great ones. Loving this one by Crystal. I'm getting real beach vibes with it. Stripes. I love that. Yeah, it's great, huh? Where is the beach in Denmark? <laughs> There's loads of coastlines. Really? Can we go nice after beaches. the show? Yeah, let's Wonderful. do it. We also have this one from Cameron in the US. I just think it's gorgeous. Oh, big up, Cameron. Really beautiful. And then from Spaghetti Even in Hong Kong. Yes. We have this one here, so all the way from Hong Kong. Oh, I should have put more white awesome pieces and stuff like pattern that. Awesome pattern. I just love this one because I think that Benno in Germany is just happy to be joining us in LegoCon and getting up on the wall. Why not? Well, guys, keep your designs coming in. Remember, you can build, draw, or design your 6x6 base plate online. <laughs> just head to lego.com forward slash dots. From there, you can share your photo with your uh, design I team. I understood that reference. Awesome. As as She's not in. that tall. He's remember, just very short, to your chat. White He's six just by very six short. Plate like He's, this. He made fun of himself. And your red, blue, and short. white dots tiles. Right. Be part of Lego house artwork is cool, but just imagine designing a brand new Lego set that fans could actually buy and build. Well, that's exactly what could happen when you share your creations with the Lego Ideas community. The timing so is off on the it now. Let's take a look at the latest awesome idea voted for by fans to become a real-life Lego Ideas set. My name's Steve Guinness, and I've been a huge Lego fan since as long as I can remember. I decided to put my LEGO typewriter onto LEGO Ideas. It was great to continue to develop prototypes. I designed with a little hand crank mechanism so that it looks like it's Crazy. Uh, typing automatically and doing all your work for you. The LEGO Ideas platform is a really supportive community. Once mm. the idea had been approved, I was lucky enough to work together with the LEGO designers with this model, we took the fan design that Steve had made and we added the ability to make the hammer go up and down when you press down on the key and also to have the carriage at the back move along every time you press a key. That's crazy. It's quite tricky to combine Technic with System. It was a really fun challenge. They're going to announce something for ideas. I promise you there's actually an announcement have coming that up, they said. iconic shape of a typewriter shell. The final set is an advanced build but there's nothing stopping you from making a smaller one, just like I have. This <laughs> tiny little typewriter that I've designed only has about 26 pieces, and it just goes to show that with a little bit of imagination and a few Lego bricks, you can make anything you want. Congratulations, Steve. That typewriter is 
incredible. It's a really impressive build. Are they just now, running around the Lego entire Lego Lego Ideas house? fans, we have some breaking news. You may remember we recently ran a contest called We Love Sports, where one lucky and super talented Lego fan stood a chance to see their creation approved for production as an official Lego no, idea no. set. They're going to announce Well, we had over 800 submissions from the Lego fan community all around the world, and I can now reveal in this world exclusive announcement that the winning design is the Lego foosball table created by fan designer constructions by Donut. Everyone cool. give it up for Donut. <laughs> Donut is a 16 year old Lego fan from Hungary whose biggest passion in oh, life wow. is building with Lego bricks and whose dream just came true. This set was chosen for its timeless design, its joyful celebration of the game, and its ability to bring families and friends together for quality game time. So, congratulations again to Donut Wait, that's from actually everyone be a here set. at the Lego House. Like, it's not going to be a small promo. Now, that's actually going to be a set. speaking of the Lego House, some that's of you so cool. might recognize where we are right now. It is the Lego World Explorer area, and it's home to these huge, huge dioramas packed with tons of minifigure scenes. Every time I look at these, I find new details that I didn't see before. I mean, just look at this. Let's take a look at this stadium here. Hundreds of minifigures, and they're all posed as if they're in scenes. It's incredible. I love the zombie cheerleaders in the front. We have everything here from a variety of different sets. Superman in the back, all the way to Lego friends in the front. And Superman. Lego Let's see what else Superman? we have here. We what? have multiple cars. That's crazy. It's super, super detailed. Whoever did this, you're incredibly talented. So coming up, we have some awesome sustainability news, some very special Lego Minecraft guests, and we're diving into the world of a Lego designer. But first, <laughs> it's time for our first live boat. We want you to tell us what you would most like to try from what you have seen so far. The options are on your webpage. Just scroll down. Will it be DJing on Lego decks, giant build smashes, life-size building, or contributing well, to Lego that, ideas? So. Vote right now, and we'll be revealing the results later on. Now, as you can see here, practically anything in the real world can be turned into a Lego build. But the Lego team are looking to the future and how we can rebuild things for the better in the real know. world, too. I don't like bricks. So, Melvin, Lego. tell us more. That's, no. Now, as you I know, Lego that. bricks are about... You know, getting creative and experimenting. You can build with them and rebuild with them again and again. But it doesn't They're mean going in there. order, Philippa. They They're mentioning three friends, things. Family, Star Wars is happening, neighbor, don't worry. The list goes on, and that way they can continue to be played with rather than thrown away. So why shouldn't more things that people do throw away have the chance to enjoy life like a Lego brick? Well, we think they should. So we're inviting plastic bottles to become new Lego bricks. I was like, why did you have the Attention, bottle? plastic bottles. This prototype could be the shiny new you. Fed up of the side of the road, the bottom of the garden, being made a fool of on the internet. Well, as part of the Lego Group's journey to make a positive impact Lego globe on reveal. planet Earth, we invite I just, that's actually the Lego bottles to join our first wave of prototype bricks made from plastic bottles. If you've ever dreamt of becoming a castle, a cat, a uh, uh, iconic Lego brick loved and reused by generation after generation, then this might be your chance to rebuild your life. Say goodbye to being blamed by a world that drunk you dry and threw you out. And hello to life as a prototype brick at our development lab in Denmark, where we're working to make all our bricks using recycled or renewable sources. Bottles help us recycle plastic into play. Become a prototype brick today. Yes, plastic bottles become a prototype brick today. Here to tell us more are two of the brains behind the science. Please give it up for Tim and Nelika, everybody. <laughs> right, so Tim, this is an awesome <laughs> Looks initiative. Looks like Phil Making Dunphy from into Modern Lego Family. I mean, why is this so important to the Lego team? <laughs> Like, right, you know, when he's on the iPad. At the moment, looking after the planet is, is super, super important. And it's one of the biggest challenges we have today. And in the Lego Group, you know, we want to make a positive impact on the planet. So we're doing a ton of stuff, you know, starting in our factories. We're reducing our energy use. Uh, we're recycling nearly all of our waste wow. that we use in making Lego bricks. And we're covering all of our roofs uh, in solar panels. 
Um, then coming to the packaging, we're making our packaging out of recycled materials. And, you know, really importantly, we're starting to transition away so from plastic there. bags uh, into paper bags. Where do you even we look? That's better for the planet. We want to use plastic in the oh right way. Goodness. And then finally, the bricks, the bricks of the star, yes. right? The bricks of the star. So uh, three years ago, we launched these bricks here. Okay. These are bio based. Yeah, bricks. exactly, bio -based John. Bio based polyethylene yeah. comes from sugar cane. So I can eat this. So definitely don't eat them. okay cool and they don't taste sweet either that was the other question uh, fair enough, so fair yeah enough. these are made from sugar cane a much more sustainable um material and then we've brought you uh he does look like plants, Bob Bettany, yeah. which is what we call this now we're bringing you bricks from bottles that's really uh, cool and that's what we've announced this week and our fans really care about this too right yeah, we get thousands of letters every year, you know, and I get letters personally as well. And that's, that's our anything. big boss as well. <laughs> and we really love it when kids write to us and, you know, really showing their passion and care for the planet. Sometimes saying, great, you've done plans from plants. We're getting a Lego foosball table. As well, which that's is the really announcement important. that we've gotten so far. And because I think we see these challenges as something we need to do together, you know, in partnership with kids, with other companies, with suppliers and everybody around the world. So, you know, more letters. We love them. Tim, that is so cool. Nelika, I want to see these new bricks and tell us more about them as well. So here they are, Melvin. Yes. Um, they, yes, they <laughs> look like normal Lego bricks, right? Um, but they are made from recycled plastic PET bottles. We can make about 10 Lego bricks from uh, one plastic bottle. And because we're reusing something that already exists, um, we can reduce the impact on the environment. And as you can see right now, the bricks are milky gray yeah. color. And we're still working on making these bricks look perfect so that we can one day start using them in Lego products. Okay. But first, I thought it was just my one of the things that I we need to figure out is how to make them in different colors. Wow. And I'm guessing this is a lot harder than it might sound. Why does all this development take so long? Yes, well, uh, we all know that Lego bricks are incredible because they're super strong and long lasting. And that's why it hurts when you step on one. <laughs> um, any new material needs to meet our standards uh, for safety and quality. And they also need to feel the same. They need to look great and they need to click together with other Lego bricks. We've spent the last six years looking at more than 300 different material formulations. Hmm. And we're committed to finding more planet-friendly materials um... for our bricks. And we're excited to share more news with you about the progress we make along the way. Well, Nelika and Tim, good luck to you and your team. We are all behind you. Please give up for Nelika and Tim, everyone. <laughs> Michelle, what new innovations do you have for us? Well, Melvin, we oh, have our God. very first audience Q&A, that's what. But you might be wondering, who are we going to ask questions to? Well, LEGO Minecraft fans, this one is for you. Get ready to meet LEGO Minecraft design manager Fred. Please don't zoom. And someone okay. you might recognize from Minecraft Live, chief storyteller of Mojang Studios, Lydia Winters. Yep, thanks. Thank you, Thank you, guys. And in the meantime, you can send in your questions for our guests using the Q&A box on your web page right now. Just scroll down. In the meantime, while we're waiting for your questions, I am so excited to chat to you we both. Thank you so chat. much for being here. Asking any plans Fred, for 10 can years. you tell us about some of these amazing Golden sets? Figures, I'm so excited mark. to talk about this wave of Minecraft. So first off, we I have a new him. horse table here. We introduce a new hero skin with the farm hand. We also have a, di a diamond You can hammer check out horse, reviews for all of these on the channel, except rider. for the modern tree house. Well. And that right here, we have the jungle abomination from a Minecraft dungeon. So you have the big brick-built abomination, you have an enchanted creeper, a moss skeleton, and two new hero skins with the explorer and the archaeologist as well. That is amazing. And Lydia, thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us. We're so excited to chat Axel with you. Axolotl next year, hopefully. My question is, how do you guys decide what to take from Minecraft yes. and build into a Lego set? It's it seems like question. in a sandbox game, there are endless possibilities. There really are. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm really excited to be here with all of you. Yes, when we think about what sets we want to make next, we, we're kind of pairing what we've updated in mm. Minecraft and then also thinking about how we expand the LEGO Minecraft world. So we've been working on sets with the LEGO team for many, many years. And so we're always wanting to add Ten new things. Years, so the Ruined Portal is something that's really exciting because Ruin that Portal's just came the best out set. in the Nether best update. Set. And then to actually see it in brick form is really exciting for us. 
I know, and there have been so many people playing Minecraft over the past year. All of my favorite streamers have been streaming it. So it's been really awesome to see it here in person as well. And personally, I've been really loving the modern treehouse. So we want to share a bit more with that with you guys. I, the thing with that, reviewing it, I just don't know how to do it. It's just... It's crazy. Pro, thank you. Yeah, I think it's a missed opportunity for sure. Thank you for the two dollars. Yeah, it's a missed opportunity to do story mode first, but... That's not how that works. Good job, cat. Yeah, you scared off all the creepers. So awesome. Fred, tell us more about the treehouse set. So the treehouse is something everybody in Minecraft experience. Everybody mm -hmm. built a house in a tree at some point, and we wanted to, to celebrate that with this gigantic treehouse and made it a bit modern with a twist, you know. So the whole set is built on those two big trees, and the point of the set is that you can actually take all four of the units. Okay, I'm gonna out. take notes here because I don't know how to do. Like I don't know how to show this. And then so look. You it's two your regular trees. jungle trees. So cool. Or then you can recombine everything the way you want. We calculated that there is more than 60 possibilities with all four of the houses. What? Yeah. So to make your own um, tree house. That is amazing. I love that because, um, you, you know, in some sets there's one final form. But in this, like you said, there are over 60. That's incredible. Yes. So um, let's see what our audience is asking. We've got a lot of questions coming in. First one. How do you guys decide which bricks to use to make Lego Minecraft sets look just like Minecraft in the real I'm good, world? Good, Chayden. Thank you. How are you doing? So man? when we started Lego Minecraft with uh, Lydia's team, we created a very extensive Lego library with a lot of bricks and elements to represent the Minecraft blocks. And we've been using this list ever since and updating it every time there is an update. So with the new cry uh, crimson wood or like the blue wood from the I don't the, even uh, know, Pro. That's crazy. That's but incredible. And already, because Minecraft, you know, has that pixelated look, yes. it fits so well with Lego. I, I Minecraft think it's awesome and Lego collaboration. is... So Lydia, our next question is for you. Collab. Let's see here. Okay. So what was the development and design process like working between Mojang Studios and Lego? Fred, feel free to chime in as well. Yeah. I will. The process TY. has been amazing. We know the uh, we've worked together answer. for so long now. I was lucky enough at the beginning to be working very closely with all the designers and with Fred actually. And he's just, so nervous. What we think about is how can we really make sure that the Lego Minecraft sets combine the best of Lego and the best of Minecraft. Mm -hmm. So like like Fred was talking about with the design library, that was one of the things we worked on a long time ago to really think about what we can represent perfectly with bricks in the game. And my favorite thing Star is Wars really is how chat, all of the Minecraft mobs come to life because they always, all of the designers on the team really figure out a perfect way to give mm. you the feeling of the mob just like you would see it in Minecraft. Yes. That is it's amazing. True. and asking you know a bit more our next question is about the design process actually so what are some of the challenges with the design process so in minecraft everything can float and of course in real life there's gravity so we have to you know find our way around this so we usually use like transparent bricks like in sky the sky block tower set over there. sky tower set the really really is, cool it's resting on transparent bricks to create this elevation it's or then the we use like chat. other techniques like here on the tree as you can see there is a giant um, mass here that we plug things from the side as well to create the, the mm -hmm. uh, idea of gra gravity and like elevation from the game. Yeah, that's amazing. I love that you guys have the transparent bricks here because you know there are so many viral videos on YouTube of people making infinitely tall structures yes. that are impossible yeah. to recreate in real life. But now it kind of is possible with Lego, which is just so cool. Okay, I think we have one last question. Okay, it is if you had to choose, nope, what is your favorite feature question. on one of the new sets? Ooh, I'm gonna go with 
too. <laughs> I really love the new characters uh, that we saw in the Modern Treehouse because who doesn't want to be really a panda? Cute. And then also I am just loving the phantoms and how they're flying over and how you, you get this feeling, like, like Fred said, even though it's in real life, you get this feeling of movement and they are terrifying. So very excited to Hate see the them phantoms. come to life. Worst in mob of the set. game, but cool to get That's in That's amazing. What about you, Fred? For me, it would be the, the portal in the, the portal. The portal's the best play feature. Ooh. So like the team were able to create this. Watch um, this chat, watch. For you see the my review Activating well. the portal with a very iconic purple glow from the Never portal here. And then you can reset the portal and you okay, figure they can didn't go show into it the very Never. Well. You can check it out on my review where I actually show you so the proper cool. angle to well, see it. thank you guys so much for being here. For, with us and to um, everyone but it's at home, so cool that you can light questions. and ignite the portal if you didn't like get that. to ask the one best now portal don't worry so there will far. be another q a coming up very soon so get ready for that but we have I mean, one more surprise for our lego minecraft fans yes we are inviting you to decide which character skin to feature in a brand new lego minecraft let's go set launching next year you guys get to choose from three will it be the ninja ninja the warrior ninja or the ranger all you guys have to do is head on over to our Twitter page between now and Friday, July 2nd, to cast your vote. And the winning skin will be announced very, very soon. I think everybody behind camera is here voting. I'm definitely going to do that right after the show. Now, I thought they were going to let us design one. I hear but... that there's one more very exciting thing to share yes? with our Minecraft yes? community, isn't there? Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes. So Caves and Cliffs Part 2, a huge update, just came out and you can play it now. And oh, I can't wait to on. see actually maybe when some little adorable axolotls and goats make it into a Lego Minecraft yes. set because it's going to be really exciting. But Let's go. Being able to Let's play go. in Let's go. amazing new caves we got it. is going to be really fun. So make sure to check it out. We got news. Amazing. Axolotl well, and thank you goat guys confirmed. So much. Let's thank go. Thank you to Lydia and to Fred. Hype. Let's give it up for them, guys. Let's go. Favorite panel so far. Hi, Just for that one moment. Let's go. Earlier, we asked you guys what you have seen so far on the show that you would most like to try. Well, the votes are in, and the favorite is, let me check here. Okay, 44% of you said that the thing you'd most love to try is contributing to lego ideas that's amazing Been all right well we will have more polls coming up soon I submitted a set oh, to that was actually... a lot of new news melvin how's it going over there at the dots wall michelle it's just as busy over here how is this for development amy what are the latest designs to come through Yes, so let's go. The ninjas ones, winning 61 percent. I'm loving how Anton in Sweden has framed their design yes, here Anton. with this red border. It's brilliant. Okay. And Christian in Australia, total celebration of the pizza tile. Good day, so mate. Loving that. Okay. And then Isaac in Canada here. Yes. You know, made an eye for an Isaac. Clever man. And got a little flower on either side. Just perfect. And then we have one all the way from Mumbai mm -hmm. by Jahil. Jahil. Also awesome, very creative designs. I love them all. Melanie, nice. how many have we received so far? <laughs> I want the exact number. <laughs> yeah, um, last count was 3,100, but we're still counting. You um, really gave me the right number as well. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I'm very didn't. surprised. Wow. Uh, Gusta, Johanna, how are your fingertips holding up? It's OK. Yeah, it's, it's OK. A bit sore. Gusta, can we see your fingertips? Yeah, I, I got a blister. We really need a doctor today. in the house real soon. <laughs> and also, it's you'll be not. pleased to know I did so. ask your boss about the raise. Yeah. He said no. Oh. <laughs> Guys, keep your 6x6 <laughs> six base plate designs coming. Build them from sets you already own or draw them or use the dots design tool. All the details you need are online at legohouse.com forward slash dots. Right, Michelle, I'm on my way back. What's next? The one lady earlier was building in pink, Up next so it's something I the think we blue, all matter, want to think, know. So With worry. all of these incredible Lego sets and amazing builds here in Lego House, what is it actually like to be a designer here at Lego headquarters? So we spent an awesome day with Ellen from the Lego Friends team to bring you a day in the life of a Lego Friends designer. And if you have any questions about Lego Friends, Lego design, or maybe even becoming a Lego designer yourself, dream job, the Q&A box is on your webpage right now, so just scroll down to check it out. Send in your questions for a very special Q&A coming right up. Hi everyone, I'm Ellen and I'm a LEGO Friends designer. Here's a short video and a sneak peek into the day in the life of a designer at the LEGO Group. One of the things I really love about my flat is all the cool artwork I have on the wall. 
Lots of it was made by my friends who also work at the Lego group and some of them are also in the friends team. This picture here is a little sticker I made of my car on fire. Um, to answer your question I really like about what we've gotten announced, foosball table, axolotl and goats coming this to Lego Minecraft. That That's all that we've, the street. It's we've a gotten door. so far. We decided to take it home, cover it in magnetic paint and then blackboard paint and put it on the wall. These ones are for a competition we did with our friends while on holiday when we had to draw each other. I don't know about you, but I think they captured me pretty well in this one. This was the first Lego set I ever made back when I was an intern. I was so excited when it came out and I could see it on shelf and see kids' reactions to it. I'm very cool about it. Uh, and I had it on display. As you might have noticed, I've got a lot of plants in my flat. I have a flamingo up in the loft. It's called Frank. To reduce my environmental impact as much as possible, I actually drive with some of my colleagues. So we're gonna go and pick them up now and head to work. Yeah, I, that's actually a thing, chat. I live pretty high up. They actually carpool a lot. Morning, I've seen Beth. this on Twitter. Morning, Ola. Morning. <laughs> Let's go. Ma, it's Legoland. Behind all the trees. I hope so at some point, uh, uh, Albert. <laughs> Bro. So, unless you have one of these badges, there's no going through that door, I'm afraid. We have a lot of secret things we're working on in there. Some really cool, exciting products that we're working on way far in advance. So there's some really cool stuff going on. I but see. We uh, have to keep it very secret. Raphael. I used to hang out in my grandparents' garage in their workshop and like hammer bits of wood together and. Oh build yeah, everyone's just. I think scope. Dying to get inside the friends' department to see what like new sets chairs. they've got in so development. So that's really played into <laughs> the job as a Lego builder and Lego designer. It's making things physically. This I really like doing. There are so many bricks in so many colours and it's almost like a library where every brick and every colour is there. All new bricks that are coming out are not released yet. You can always figure out a way to build something. It really is funny when you see someone who's been down in the stock for a while, they come up and they just empty oh, the that's bricks, really bricks, cool. bricks onto their desk and you're like, how is there more? It's a really fun process and it makes the model come to life. It's like every child's dream and a lot of adults dream as well. We were really thinking in the design team, how could we do amusement park with a twist? Just picture, you Lego know, the, all about the guy on the chain and fence. So Let me in! It's just, that's what Lego ideas. thinks. Everyone's just like, and the big Let me into the friend's here, department. Like, is that we really wanted these magic tricks to be a way for real life friends to interact with each other and perform these tricks for each other. So that was really Whoa, that's so cool. into the real world. We get a lot of inspiration from the kids when we show them. That's the actually really cool. Then they come up with all different stories and ideas. It's super fun seeing the kids' reactions. Even in the groups that we had where the kids didn't even know each other, by the end of those sessions, they were all performing for each other. So we knew that we were onto something there with um, the idea of performing for your friends and the joy that it brings. And making new friends. And making new friends, yeah. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey, guys. It's been really cool to show you where I work. Her hair color see changed. Some of you around here sometime soon. And joining us live in the studio, the stars of our film, give it up for Ellen and Fenella, everyone! Yeah. Come on. Yes. One now, second, Michelle and I were watching that add. thinking, you two have the best job ever. And I think our audience agree as well. So let's get straight into the questions. First up, Ellen, what's it like as a fan of Lego yourself to have the sets that you created out there in the world? Oh, it's so exciting. You can imagine, like, we get the comments from the kids when the sets come out and they're so excited about them. It's the best feeling ever. It reminds me of being a kid myself and seeing the sets on shelves and like, I want that. Maybe. It's really cool. That is such a special experience. Okay, so we have our second question. So many questions coming in. Fenella, what are some good subjects to study in school if you want to be a Lego designer? Well, you can take the route that some of us took. So I studied industrial design, but you can also study graphic design. I studied design, graphic design. design, architecture. We have so many different people from different backgrounds. You can also be a Lego fan and get employed that way. So all I would say is whatever you study, just keep building. Okay, next question. Is model building the only Lego design job you can do? Definitely not. We have so many different jobs. So as Fen said, like graphics, you can do element design. We have a whole team of people that work on our adverts. We have packaging designers. Anything for guys with beards? Absolutely. We can find something. Great. Okay. <laughs> uh, love this next question. Do you ever right, get builder's back, block or video. designer's block where you feel uninspired? 
That's a good one. I think, yeah, everybody must get that, but it's a, like, a great thing, this team we have behind us. So you can always go and spar with your teammates or go and look at the brick stock and get inspired by the different elements we have down there. Yeah, I definitely love to go into the design team and see what amazing creations are on their desk or like the shelves behind them. That kind That's of what I want to do, honestly. I would again. just want to go from That's department awesome. to department. awesome. Okay, and another question on. from the audience. So Lego Friends has a range of amazing locations and environments. Mm. Are there any environments you'd like the Friends to explore in the future? like space or the desert? Or the chicken shop. <laughs> That's a good one. So my <laughs> personal favorite, we've already done it, is the ski theme. I love skiing so much, so this would be an amazing one for us to Yeah, we've been it, sitting maybe? at almost 2K for but, a while, uh, Michael. I don't know what you think. Yeah, we hit 149,000 subscribers, Chad, so subscribers, many possibilities chat, with so Lego Friends. That. That's what's so exciting. So you never know what's in the pipeline. There's definitely exciting things coming up. They can't tell us, basically, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So many secrets here <laughs> at the Lego house. All right, one more question. So most of us turn to Lego building to de-stress, but this is your job. So what do you guys do in your free time? Well, for me, I like to go out into nature. So maybe go camping, go and have a barbecue with friends or bike to the beach or something. Maybe a little bit of Lego building as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and for me, I have two young kids. So I spend my time building very big Lego Duplo creations and then knocking them down. <laughs> Lego 24-7. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I know what I want to be when I grow up. Please There's give no up Vanilla and Vanilla, everyone. Not that they announced Woo! it. <laughs> Never mind. Now, as all masters of spinjitsu know, no, this year marks the 10th anniversary of Lego Ninjago, and we couldn't have a Lego Con without celebrating this decade of adventures. Yes, Lego Ninjago fans and Lego gaming fans, this one is for you. Let's what? take a look. This year, we're celebrating the 10-year anniversary of Lego Ninjago. That's a whole decade of Master Wu, Kai, Zane, Lloyd, Nia, Cole, Jay, and did I already say Kai? Ten years of spin jitsu mastery, of epically breathtaking moments of action. Dragons, motorcycles, and flying boats. And ten years of weird looking bad guys with multiple arms and snake heads. Yeah. In that time, the six fearless warriors have traveled to some incredible places. Blistering deserts, hostile rainforests, freezing mountain kingdoms, even outer space. But in all that time, there's space, one place space, they no. dare not venture. Until now. This year, we take the battle against evil to the depths of the ocean. In Lego Ninjago Seabound. Did someone Dark say here. water dragon? Take a deep breath, because we have some exclusive news. Awesome! Seabound is coming to Lego Brawls, exclusive to Apple Arcade. We've created an incredible <laughs> new level. I got so excited. Nia some pretty epic upgrades. It's time to put on your scuba gear, rebuild your submarines, and join us for an underwater adventure to celebrate 10 years oh, of Lego Ninjago. the bath running that's right <laughs> Lego Ninjago Seabound so is coming funny. soon to the Lego Brawls gaming platform <laughs> and Michelle and I are ready to become the ultimate brawling team aren't we oh yeah spud Bam. not too hard I've got very sensitive <laughs> I'm wearing rig sorry <laughs> so now our next guest needs no introduction and starting this summer his brother is joining the lineup too chat, chat, hello chat, Luigi right hi Mario <laughs> This video is so cringy, by the way. I think that's the... That's my face. Let's go! I've been watching this for a second time in my life. Bye bye. 
just in case you didn't know, you can't actually walk on walls with the power of Mario and Luigi. I just thought that I'd let you know this. Yes! They didn't even show Lego me taking Mario down the shoe. and Lego Luigi in the house, everyone! Yes! <laughs> so I'm a Lego Mario fan for sure. He's the original guy. But now if we each have a starter course, we can play at the same time together. So that's pretty cool. Well, that works out well for I both actually haven't of us seen for a sure video because on this for me yet. it's all about Lego Luigi. Okay. How about after the show we team up for an epic adventure? How's well, that sound? you're going down. Yeah? Should we shake I on it? I thought teaming up. I've sanitized. Perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Still to come on the show, our official reveal of a brand new Lego Star Wars set. It's going to be epic. That's right, and we take a car. Builder's Journey the chat, do you want to play that on the journey. second channel? I actually, and I saw a video Lego on it. It's actually really cool. I personally have been waiting for. It actually looks like such a peaceful, just first, chill streaming game that we vote. should play on the second channel. Yes, and this time we are asking you, LLAMA, would you do the honors? Yes, back to LLAMA. What Lego stories are you enjoying most? Is it? Sustainable innovations, cool collaborations, behind the scenes reveals, or interviews with Lego guests. What's been your favorite so far, guys? I've been loving well, the you interviews haven't revealed for anything, sure. Yeah. I yeah. love getting to know the designers uh, and just hearing the behind the scenes on everything. So much so great cool. information. How about you, LLAMA? I guess this. All right, mm. not too much. <laughs> guys, it just doesn't stop. the axolotl. Okay, right, you can answer in the poll just here down on your home page. Just scroll down, guys, and remember, We'll reveal the results later on. Now, let's find out what you Oh, let's check on Twitter. I just want to so see an update far. on the, uh, the Minecraft thing. All right. So, Derek says, the that's how winning. you hashtag rebuild the, the world. Close. Turning plastic water bottles into Lego bricks. I love that. Yeah, really nice. Okay. Siani in Wales has two mini masters enjoying watching Lego Con in Denmark instead of watching Wales versus Denmark yes! in football. That's what we want to hear. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and Jay is really digging our Lego Con coffee table. I have to agree. It's nice. I, I don't know if you guys have noticed this whole yeah, thing is jealous, built actually. out of bricks and it's stunning. Can we keep that afterwards? We just it take it. We just no we just take that. it apart. It can fit It'll in our fine, suitcases yeah. along with the dinosaurs. Definitely. Everything else. Great, great, great. <laughs> well, thank you so much, DJ LLAMA. Yeah. yeah. Let's hear right, it for so LLAMA. A Lego Star Wars designer, absolutely anything. Now the Q and A box is just down here on your that home doesn't page. even look like a so V. Send in your questions the right video. about now. It is live, guys. Here we but go. First, oh, you want to ask the Star Wars question chat? Lego what Star Wars, the Mandalorian fans might have been waiting for. It's time for the official reveal of a very special brand new set. And here it is. Uh, oh. Oh. Um, sorry. Okay, Give us so a second. they're not revealing um, anything new. I have a press kit for that set. That that, was that supposed to happen? I, you know, the set uh, that we we've seen from the catalog? child see it would be so cool if we hadn't already seen this from the catalog also Soka why are you why are you why are you building the light cruiser that is so cute the little child Let's hear it for Michael and the new Lego Star Wars Imperial Light Cruiser! <laughs> what an epic intro! <laughs> yes, yes, Michael! Yes, Michael! Oh. Woo! Swing that in! <laughs> what do you think, Thank fans? You. Let's see those emoji reactions. Come on! Oh no my gosh, emoji, Michael, we have so. been so excited about this yeah. segment. This is such a co super cool set, and it looks like I'm not the only one who thinks so, based on our audience reactions we're getting right now. So can you take us through some of your favorite features? Absolutely. 
well, as you can see, it's instantly recognizable as a Star Wars ship. It's not quite as big as a Star Destroyer, but it is big, and it's got three huge engines on the back, so lots of power. But yet, the size makes it very maneuverable, and this built-in handle, all the Now, they said sets reveal. Yes. Oh, look, they've got the Slave One down there, by the way. That's part of our press And then we've got too. two huge turrets here, four inbuilt. <gasps> wow! Rockets. <laughs> we can open the entire front here, so you've got easy access to the detail. The catalog oh, did there. ruin this, you know. And then like, it's not awesome their fault. Like, so we would can, be uh, seeing this for the, the first uh, time. We'd be freaking the, out seeing Fennec, Fennec and stuff like cool. that, you know? Then the last little, but not least, feature we've got these really cute little TIE fighters. So we can open up the front here, place a TIE fighter in there, and then launch the TIE fighter. Incredible. That is so cool. But, Michael, what were the challenging parts of designing a set like this, man? Well, I mean, everything we designed... Interior is cool, Lego, yeah. You'll see a picture uh, of it in the video in a second, because, uh, Jack. Some things are or easier two, I can and post some things are video, more challenging but... to, to, due to the shape of the bricks. Mm -hmm. mm. But uh, we always go for the shape of the ship. That's the, the key thing. The next thing we have to do is try and put some functionality into that. So as many play features as possible. If that's not enough, then stability is an issue because we need to keep that model stable during, while we're building it so it doesn't fall apart when we build the model. And as, uh, after we're finished, when it's done, we want to if be able to play with it. If it didn't leak chat, you wouldn't be time, saying so. this. Now, I've got to say, I love the child yeah. and his wiggling ears. That was so, so impressive. That was really yeah, cute well, when they were doing that. That was a lot of fun. That, that was really and, impressive. And uh, definitely, those uh, features are so important if you want to capture the emotion of a, ch of a character like that. And Lego bricks aren't exactly the easiest thing to work with when you're trying to do something that uh, in that way. But um, I'm really happy with the result. And I mean, uh, when you see the, the but reactions from the I fans will and say, how happy they are about it, it just makes it all work. If we out. hadn't seen the catalog, oh. they're not doing a good job of talking about these other two sets that Lego they have on Star Wars: The Mandalorian okay. sets coming out, right? Absolutely. Would you like to see them? Yes. <laughs> yes, we want to see all of it. Yes. <laughs> I'll just take them over here. There we go. So this one is called the Armored Marauder, okay? Now this is gonna awesome lineup of figures: Grief Karga, some uh, super cool stormtroopers. Got a brand new artillery stormtrooper, he's called. And then there are all kinds of places where you can open this uh, ship up, so the stormtroopers can be inside, front, back. <laughs> The detail, man. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we, can, I don't uh, have a picture of the inside in. like you that. You can launch an attack from the front with, uh, again, built-in shooting functions. Poor people who have to All pick up these stud shooters. <laughs> shoot projectiles. All of them shoot. It's a must in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another one here. Uh-huh. I'll grab this one. Chat, $50 for this, this thing. Is $50. Starship. Right. You may recognize that. Incredible. Yes. And the features of this one, I mean, well, we've got a great lineup of figures. We've got Boba Fett, and we've got the Mandalorian himself. Yes. And then the ship, um, rotating wings. Okay. So when the ship flies. Well, that's really cool. Fly this way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a cockpit for Boba Fett, of course. Wait. We have got... Does the 20th anniversary one move like that on again? its own? I don't think so. Of course. There is a little compartment here for the... Fifty dollars for two figures, or forty dollars for four figures. And on one. the bottom here, we've got a built-in handle. Fold that out, yeah, and then forty-nine ninety-nine USD chat. One-handed swooshing. More swooshing. swooshing. <laughs> Never too much swooshing. The last but not least, this service cart doubles as a display stand, so you can display the model in flight. That is so cool, man. Now we could ask you questions all day long, Michael, but I think we yeah, need to does. know what you mm. guys want to know. So first up, uh, what's the process creating a Lego Star Wars set? Where do you start? Yeah, well, I think that every designer has his own unique re approach. Uh, but usually we start with what we call a sketch. Now sketching with Lego bricks uh, means that we rough out an idea. If we like that direction, then we continue. We go into a maturing phase where we build, rebuild, uh, test multiple times. Yeah, I have the Cloud uh, City build one and physically, the other one. We build it with 3D software digitally. We address things like scale and uh, functionality. If we dial up on scale and functionality, we often uh, dial up on the complexity, which means we have to be uh, really uh, aware of the age mark that we're trying to go for on, right. on a particular item. I don't but think Marvel was on the docket, this, uh, but I don't think Ninjago was either. So etched in their minds, so uh, that's what we draw on, and we just yeah, that's what drives us creating these uh, amazing vehicles. 
That's amazing. And so my guess? what makes the Boba Fett starship different from the previous version? Yes, do tell. Well, I was really fortunate because uh, not only did I get Why to work on this one, but I also got to work on the previous version. And that was part of our lineup of products for the that celebrated the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. And um, the previous ship was larger and had a lot of detail. So we wanted to see if we could capture just as much detail in a smaller scale. And um, uh, that's tricky because this is a, quite a unique shape. And we need to make sure that, the, as I talked about before, the structure inside has to provide stability when we're building and when we're playing. So that was a tricky one. Uh, the handle uh, was 2, one of the people well watching chat. Welcome on in, everybody. Version. Thank you, so guys. Being Save able 2K. to put that into this wor version was, uh, was also a, a wish, and we managed to get it in. So, so how do you choose what characters to, to add to like, the minifigure lineup? Well, we have had a long-standing relationship so good, yeah. with uh, uh, Lucas Films and a uh, great uh, relationship with them. And they work no, with us on uh, every step of the are, way, deciding on which characters fit which sets so that we make sure everything's in context. Uh, but no detail is uh, left unturned. Every little garment and weapon and accessory is, wow. is uh, yeah, has well. to be perfect. Well, Michael, we can just feel your passion, and as we've learned today, it's so wonderful to see someone who's such a big fan of the property bringing it to life in the LEGO world, so Absolutely. thank you. And judging by the comments and reactions we're getting right now, I think you've even recruited a few new LEGO Star Wars I fans so. today. So please get up, give it up for Michael, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so we're taking you from serious excitement to serious time. relaxation. <sighs> Lego Builder's journey has been described as a peaceful, intelligent, nostalgic That's work a chat. of art. This is really cool, though. The story behind this the video game's thing. creation is just as beautiful. Take a look at this. I watched on IGN. It's just so peaceful. A game called Builder's Journey. I'm actually going to play this on the second channel. Why that name? It's because life is a journey. Finding out who we are. I'll buy this for twenty dollars. Or learning to accept who we are, and achieving what we want to achieve. And the play helps us ask ourselves questions to start working this out. The kid has to like reach the dad or whatever, so you have to move all these little bricks people, and move these bricks around to. Son and the dad. Okay, she's explaining it. In a series of puzzles that help players solve problems. Taking all kinds of shapes to make something. Look at the water, look at the concrete. water. Watch, watch, watch. Oh. It's designed to be a break. Look at the mud. From everything else. An emotional journey of challenges, progress, and of never being afraid to try something again. It's so like peaceful. It's just like a and peaceful the craft puzzle game. The story I, I really love it. Visuals, music, and sound. All comes together to leave the player with the same feeling ready for the next day in their journey guys check this out this is one of my favorite parts of lego house is the character create a zone melvin there are so many minifigure pieces here like thousands of them it seems like you could create anything well do you mind if i get a little head start on these michelle okay well while he's doing that i want to check in with you guys i love all of Let the um check in here the, the gaming channels comments. that are streaming this because okay. they thought that uh for some reason that lego so, star wars skywalker Beck saga was going to be talked about that or revealed. LegoCon is as amazing as they finally found something the whole family can watch together. Hashtag LegoCon. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's not over yet, so keep your comments and reactions. Yeah, boy, going. I understand. Right. I, I, no, I'm I done. What did you think of that? I think that was I love that. cool. I love his like, build. hair. That's amazing. Yeah? That's <laughs> just... Well, you know what? I think this will really look great. Shh. Uh, Don't tell them about my final secret. Uh, my big surprise. The figure Sorry, from It's not video. time for that. It's not time. But it is time for us to reveal what you guys said in our latest poll. Okay, so... So we the, asked you guys what LEGO stories you're enjoying the most. And while it was a close call, mm -hmm. the answer with the most votes is... 52% of you guys said you'd love to see even more behind-the-scenes yes. reveals. You know what? They were pretty cool. I'm not surprised about that. 
That is impressive. You didn't show now, enough. Now, building with Lego Technics is all about building for real. That means challenging builds of vehicles in all shapes and sizes from iconic supercars like the Lamborghini Scion we saw earlier to mighty construction machines. And when it comes to construction machines, well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. The Lego Technic designers, together with our partners at Volvo, are is that the unbeatable new force. Thing? Or are they? The kids at the first LEGO League decided to put our experts to the test. But before we watch, do not try this at home. Is that a new set check? I thought I saw a blacked out image of that. I don't know, it's hey, a Sam. Technique. Hey, Frida. What are we doing here? I have no idea. But have you seen the laptop? Chat, in six yeah. minutes, the video can go live for the Star Frida Wars set. So you can see the yeah, the first LEGO League team in Nigeria. Nigeria. You've challenged teams around the world to put all of our skills in science, No, nothing for DC. I wouldn't expect anything for DC. And math to the test. But today, we're challenging you. No. Come on. It's time to go head to head. May the best driver win. Oh. Your mission, transport a delicate cargo to the finish line. This is amazing. Mm, this is great. Look at that. Oh, rough terrain. Sam. That is very dangerous. Vibrations. And the bridge over the swimming pool. Possible power cuts. Oh. oh, that's going to be a tough race. Lego Technic or Volvo? Yeah, but Vince, we weren't supposed win. to see them, you know? It's like if they revealed Thor's house. Like, it's, we're not supposed to have seen them yet. It's, it's in the catalog. Let's that's go! Week. But, I mean, it's their fault. They shouldn't be putting it in the catalog then. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? I'm taking the lead, Frida. Sam, I'm right I'm taking you. the lead. Uh, uh, I'm taking uh. the lead. No! Go and save him. Hey, Sam. No. No. You're in my no. way? No. No. Sam, I'm coming. You can do it. Hey, um, how's it going, man? Oh. Welcome on in. This is disgusting. I'm ruining the technical oh. Come on, man. I can't do this anymore. King of the mountain! <laughs> oh, that's very bad. I mean, I there hasn't been any. We're halfway through this race. <laughs> no, no. Views by the second because of this. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> You're ahead. I know. What a fight! Yes! Come on! No! No! no. <laughs> Hey, I'd be excited for a Peach Castle, of course. Yes. Winner. Um, I was gonna say though. Hey, I got a Minecraft news video out of this now, so I don't mind. Get to do a video clickbaiting that Max Swaddle and a goat are coming. That's easy. And I get to talk about ben, those skins, so. keep the Volvo safe for me, yeah? In my room. Just hide it underneath the chair. Yeah, no one will find it that way. Oh, and congratulations to Sam, our challenge winner. How close was that finish? So close. So close and nice work. And speaking of nice work, it's time for our final check-in with the Dot Lego House live build. Melanie, it looks like you guys have been busy. How's it we going? We sure have. We've yeah. been uh, very busy cr recreating all the audiences very awesome design and it just looks fantastic we got what was in the minecraft section they're letting us pick 30, 30, from three skins three. to appear yes, in a new yeah, set like next year exact numbers. Yeah. Exactly. and Thank they also confirmed that axolotls uh, and goats are coming a few last favorites before we go <gasps> yes i mean i'm loving mia from england's mm -hmm. design here because it's so detailed and intricate right. and then jude and oliver over here from the usa they've gone bold and they've used only one color and That's i think cool. it looks really cool just yeah. like we wait are you would. supposed to fill the entire Petrus tile with Africa white as well yes, beautiful flower inspired design uh -huh, we love it in south africa man yeah and then sophie from usa just super creative no you don't I have mean, to mind-blowing how many awesome designs i know i'm feeling super inspired and i cannot wait 
to see them go on the wall yeah. because they're going to look awesome. So different. Love that. Now, Melanie, can you remind us when this wall will be complete? Yes, our reveal will be on September the 3rd, but okay. at this rate, it really could be very soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And remember, guys, keep sending in your designs online until August the 15th by visiting legohouse.com forward slash dots. Our finished mural will be revealed on September the 3rd, and everyone who takes part will have their name proudly displayed on our digital plaque for future visitors to see right here. Now, guys, it's been so epic. Thank you so much for being a historic part of Lego House history. Give it up for the Dot Lego House team. Dot Lego House! Dot Lego House! Dot Lego! OK, it's just me doing it by myself. All right, Michelle, it feels like we're wrapping up over here. Just to warn you, I'm not good with goodbyes. Same here, Melvin. We're going to have to be strong for each other. This has been one of the most fun experiences ever. Yes, it is Star time to say a huge Europe. thank you to all of our incredible guests, to our amazing AFL contributors, to our talented LEGO designers, to our awesome crew, and the many, many people behind the scenes who have made this show possible. But most of all, we want to say thank you to you, our fantastic LEGO fans. You, your passions, and your endless creativity, you're the reason why everyone here does what they do. Isn't that right, guys? How great would it be? But most of all, you have made history by go. being a part of the first ever LEGO Con! And here is every GTC to come. And you can keep watching, reliving, and sharing your favorite moments after the show at lego.com forward slash LegoCon. LegoCon content will also be available to enjoy on the LEGO Life app, so be sure to download that right now. Now, L-L-A-M-A, -A, how you doing over there? Okay. Doing great. It's almost time for your headline set to close the show. But first, <laughs> we've got a pretty exciting announcement, don't we? Okay, guys, video fans, this one is for you. Video Our fans, come close. First studio drops. LLAMA is going on tour. <laughs> <laughs> The world-renowned fuzzy friend DJ will be performing at LEGO Video Music Fest, coming soon to five Legoland parks all around the world. You can find out more at legoland.com forward slash video. Oh, Melvin. Hey. I feel like I've been on tour myself getting back here on time. <laughs> now, LLAMA, you promised me to go on those decks. Are you ready to show me what you're made of, man? No. Oh, yes, Michelle. Your secret build, what's going on? Surely it's time now. It's time for my big surprise. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Everyone, get ready for a live look at the new Lego Video Boom Check Box. Out my channel. Wow. Yes. It's so cute. That is really cute. I want to make sure you guys get a good look at this. I just love the colors. I think it's so well built. But just like any great Lego set, what's on the inside is even more impressive. So I'm going to pull out the stage right here, wow. turn to the side, and Remember our minifigs from yes. earlier? We're gonna add them in. Oh, yes, of course. Nice. So cute. Melvin, this isn't even the best part. Can I tell you the best okay, part? Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay. Here's what I'll say so the about best the part Lego of Con. The entire experience in general, is that right? the boom box actually pairs with your smartphone. So, Pete, come on in. I'll let you do the honors. We'll scan it into the app and. DJ, spin that track. <laughs> Oh! I don't know if it's copyright or not. Why would they do that at the end? Um, here's what I'll say about the whole thing, okay? Here's what I'll say. Closing remarks here. Uh, wait, how did they have a sig fig dancing? Wait, you can you can scan in any figures? What? Wait, could you put the flash in there? Okay, anyways, um Are they still playing the song? Yep. Anyways, uh, this is what I'll say about LegoCon. I think it's very disappointing that San Diego Comic-Con has had better reveals than this, and this is being hosted by Lego. To me, I think that is very disappointing. I think that's actually unacceptable if you think back.
Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I think oh my gosh. Yes. if you look back at other Comic Cons, hey, at least they announced it for 2022. They have a year to make up for this. Um, it would have been good if they weren't going to reveal. I think it might, it might be that you have to cream. Oh, maybe. Anyways, this is what I'll say. I think that uh, if it would be good if the stuff didn't leak, I think they need to reveal things that we're not going to see before then, like D to C's and stuff like that. And you know what? As an ambassador, don't send it to me because there is leaks. There's a ton of ambassadors sending the stuff to Promo Bricks and all these other people. So even if you didn't send it, if they revealed P if they revealed like something like that today, like I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be upset that it didn't get sent to press kit. I think that they needed to actually sell this, and it, it, it those three Star Wars sets ain't it, because um, they already leaked from the catalog. So that's really disappointing to me. Um, fix your stream quality, absolute trash. It it lagged and cut out. Like that's really unacceptable. Um, also, she she kept, you know, coughing into like breathing it, you know, breathing into the mic really bad. LAMA was so cringy. Cut out the cringe. Cut out Technic. No one is here for Technic. Um, yeah, that's what I'll say. That that's my last things. Um, but great idea in concept. Lego convention in general, very 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 great. Minecraft was the highlight to me, uh, finding out about those three skins. I like the idea of that contest. I, I wish that we could design our own. I think that would probably be even cooler than that. I actually said that on uh, Twitter. I said that I wish that um, they would let us actually try and, uh, you know, that they would let us try and actually design our own minifigure. So, yeah, not good. Um yeah, I was sent the press kit for Star Wars early, so I knew it was coming. And I, I was hoping there would be more than just the three of them. I, I didn't know. They said set reveal, so that was really disappointing. But, um, yeah, not good. Not good. I enjoyed being here with you guys. Thank you to the 2,000 people that we did wind up hitting. And thank you to everyone who's stuck around for this long. Um, we'll be live on the other channel at, uh, like, 7, maybe 30 to hype up Thanos. Thanos is coming to Fortnite, so if you do, if you are a Fortnite fan, um, use code AshenFlash in the Fortnite item shop if you're picking up Thanos, and we'll be probably doing a giveaway tonight of Thanos as well. If you want to swing over to the other channel, Ash and Flash Extra is where we're going to be streaming. And tomorrow we have the sponsored video. Very excited about that. We've got uh, the top 10 uses for the Thanos big figure that I've got a ton of ideas for. So that'll be coming out tomorrow as well as then on Monday, we also have the actual um, our three year anniversary. So streams on that. Thor's house review, I can't tell you when, but it is coming soon as well as a another Marvel set. And um, mm -hmm. anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy the stream. Thank you all so much. For sticking around this long thank you for chatting with me thank you for sticking around uh i i hope you guys did enjoy just being together yeah bye everybody have a good day <laughs>